Hey guys. Here we are. <laughs> it's a good thing it's nice tonight. It's not, not bad at all. I'm over them 30 degree nights. What's up, Hitch by Hitch Shoreline? Dave Garcher, what's up? Big John, Big John. How are y'all doing? Today was more like an April day. It was pretty good, yeah. Hey, with Bud Files, what's up? First, first, first. <laughs> it's always a race to get in first. There should be a prize for being here first, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Mid South? He's first too. There's three people that were in here first. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I don't even know how they were with that. First, first, and first. We need to catch a bluegill. Did you catch one? No. I want some live bait. You're not last. What's up, Bobby? Actually, Mid South was last first. What's up, Mr. Rogers? He said, Cindy Lou, Travis, good luck to you. You tried to do the short, but didn't do well. Just keep at it. The thing, one of the things that makes a short work is uh, consistency. Because YouTube has to put it out in the feed. Mr. Rogers, one of these days it's got to happen, right? He said, I hope y'all get on some hogs. <laughs> <laughs> we wear the water out, so it's eventually got to happen. It does every once in a while, huh? Every once in a blue moon. It's a giant from the bay. What's up, Wolves Den? <laughs> Mr. Rogers said, if you ain't first, you're last, mid south. <laughs> BFF, F, 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 F. We stopped and tried to cast net some bait, and yeah. What did he give you, a thread fin or? Did he give y'all thread fin or gizzard shad, Lonnie? You just hit your first hundred hook sets today. You're so happy. That's awesome. Seems like the first first hundred and then the first five hundred just take forever. <laughs> Zed said, mind if I hang out tonight and chill? I wish you would. What's up, Zed? Hey, were you pouring a copper uh, ant sculpture today? I tuned in for a few. <coughs> and Sal said, I'm still first. Gizzard, she said. We stopped there and couldn't get any gizzard. We got some thread fin. Oh, that sounds cool. I bet them sculptures are soft. Hitch by Hitch said, first, first, first. <laughs> he he, I don't think, I don't think uh, Jake has said anything but first in this, in this whole live yet. First, first. <laughs> he said first, and first, first, and first, first, first. I think he's stuck on Paul, permanent Pauls. Miss House said first, 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 and first to is. <laughs> that was crazy. Well, then drop your link, and if anybody doesn't have it, 
they can pick you up. Most everybody in here can click on you anyway. What's up, Sandy Toes? Sandy Toes, where you been? You're like fight over first, but she's always in my DMs, so I kind of win. Facts. Michelle Mason, hey. What are y'all doing? Mid South said, Sandy, can I be your first? First, what, Mid South? Thank you, Mr. Rogers. We need the luck of the luck of the pineapple. We do. What's up, Jefferson? Welcome in. Welcome in. And you know, I want to have like. A positive attitude about the fish in this wish of man over here so we can catch one. But that's why I put let's let's hang out in the title because if that's all we get to do, we have to be okay with that. <laughs> What's up, Dale? Did the wind ever die down enough for you to get on your kayak, Kenny? Get out on it. First to kiss her beautiful face every morning, the last to kiss it each night. Woo! I tell you what, Ashley is such a good woman. I just think so every time I, I see you in chat. <laughs> She'd have to be to put up with you. Is that her? I'm not sure, Mid South. <laughs> We're up on the TV. Giant life size poles, depending on how big your tea is. Dale said it did die down, but had to clean out the garage before the baseball hall, baseball hail threat tomorrow. Dang. What do y'all want to have storms like that for? Mid South, if you bought Sandy a yacht like we saw today, she might consider it. Oh, was that yacht parked in uh, Unisha? Because there was one uh, in there when, when we were over there. Was there room on the, was Lonnie, before Lonnie was over there, was there room for him down on the bank? Looks like the water's coming up. Mid-South said, Cindy, she thinks I'm amazing, and I am. What's up, Becca? Greg Burgess? Wow, the gang's all here. This ought to be epic. All my favorite people. <laughs> it was a big one, twice the size of in Indonesia. Oh, really? Dang. What's up, Troy? Hello, everyone visiting family this weekend. Just stopping in to say hello. Well, we miss you. Tell Angela we said hey. Sandy said, hey, hello, oh, well, hey, Lisa and Randy. If Mid South bought me a yacht, none of you suckers would see me again. <laughs> She'd be gone on a tour. <laughs> Mid South said it's about to get ornery up in here. <laughs> I tell you what, the typos make make the chat here. You guys are the worst typists ever. <laughs> or actually, your phones are real naughty. Because uh, last night, Becca's phone changed ornery to horny. And I was on the, the uh, boat with the preacher, and I was trying my best to be good. Well, I was tired, too. Worked 58 hours, and then, yeah, so... Or were killing me. <laughs> it was a 40, 48 foot cruiser, four levels on Loudon. <laughs> That's a bit of an overkill for Loudon, isn't it? So, yeah, I like how everybody's phones like to cuss and talk dirty in this chat. <laughs> Mm 
like I said, you got way too many women for you. Yeah, I'd have you be half to death, Mid South. <laughs> <laughs> I think the pollen's getting me out here. Becca, Sandy, Lisa, Cindy. <laughs> oh, Lord. If we were together, we'd have to definitely have bail money. We'd have to start a GoFundMe to get us all out of jail. We'd be in trouble. Disturbing the peace. Mecca's phone was just tired of pretending she wasn't and told the truth. <laughs> Mecca, did you do that on purpose? Pick it up. Yeah, I got him. Fish on. Oh, no, you didn't. What the crap? Fish not on. I felt it come loose. Man, I'm sad. There ain't no reason why that fish shouldn't have stayed on. I even thought I tugged and set the hook. No. Well, at least we're getting some bats here. <clears throat> fish on, fish off. We cut the hook off. That happens again. <laughs> <coughs> Damn it. Make a decade, it's all the same. Are you on dinner and dancing? Becca said, I think it just spelled it wrong. I spelled it ornery and not thinking instead of ornery, and it changed it to first to horny. That was my mis misspelling that I'm innocent. <laughs> <clears throat> Your girlfriend says pelican on the side. Sandy said she'd be back in a little while. You, you can put them chores off, Sandy. Put them off, put them off. Bobby said, Beck, innocent until proven guilty. What's up, Bobby? <clears throat> Troy said, I can't pick up, I can't pick on Mid-South. I almost said pick up Mid-South. <laughs> can't pick on Mid-South anymore. He's my friend now. Good luck, Shoreline. Hope you catch something big. Zed said, Mr. Damn, I should feel privileged or old. She calls everybody Mr. or Miss. <clears throat> Jefferson said, I'd want to hang out with you ladies, so I'd need bail money too. We can figure out the logistics, but we'll get out of jail. <laughs> Mid South <laughs> says he's everybody's friend. Well, maybe. Bobby said, what's that got to do with it? Hey, I still pick on him. Hey, Monty. 
Hey, we've got this stuff to make a fire. We might make one. <clears throat> Mid South said, I, I haven't kissed anyone from YouTube. How many of y'all can say that? Well, mine's on YouTube, but I kissed him before we did YouTube, so, or before I did. Let me catch up. <clears throat> I'm not that far behind. You need to quit messing with me. Probably old Zed, that's the way I see it anyway. It's I said, Dale, we all know about you and Modog, so don't even try that. Modog said, I have bail money, but I never get to use it. What's up, Modog? <clears throat> Come on back, fish. If I didn't hook you, don't be scared. <laughs> What's up, whiskers and hogs? Welcome in. Next, us, I'm waiting for Becca's response. Modog said, I'm three days into this challenge, and I'm so proud of you for keeping after it. I almost didn't do it today. I did it till late this afternoon because I'm like, it it fills up your news feed with everybody's tags. The more people you tag, the more stuff comes up in your news feed. I'm like, ee. -hee. Troy said, I have kissed one from someone from YouTube. Her name is Angela. Yeah, see. I didn't find mine on YouTube, but he's on YouTube also. <clears throat> Dale said, Mid-South, you'll be waiting as long as you have for that Hobie to arrive. Zed said, Master Zed, kind of like the ring to that knot. <laughs> Mid-South said, Hobie, never heard of it. What's up, Jay Butt? Are you still waiting till late to go out after WrestleMania? Nobody's doing your challenge. I thought you uh, didn't you tag Dale in it and he doing it. Said said, but I know where Miss Becca was coming from. The <clears throat> seven pigs for seven days. Dale's doing it. What's up, Brian B? He said, What's up, fart snippers? How'd that Uno tournament go? I saw somebody talking about it. It sounded confusing. I. We fished till about a little after 10 last night, and then I went back and I went right to sleep. I died. Becky said, now, Mr. Mike, sorry, but I don't kiss and tell whether I actually do or not. <laughs> it's how I said Becca wasn't me. <laughs> Dale said, I'm doing it, and Cindy can vouch. I just don't tag other people. You got to tag other people. Gotta keep it going. Do you tag Modog to let so that you fill up his news feed with all your tags? Because really, that's the, that's the fun thing about it. Yeah, it's dying with Dale. What you doing, Dale? Do it right. Follow directions. <laughs> Troy said, I think you would know Mid-South. Come on, fish. I can't lose another one. <laughs> I don't want to lose another one, Travis. Hmm. I hate when they come loose like that. When you get them halfway in, it breaks a little something inside me. No, but, it, you know, it was a fish. 
<laughs> At this point, you can't be picky. It wasn't one of them 25 pounders we pulled out of here. That's the biggest we've got out of here, wasn't it? They could be bigger ones, though. <laughs> Becca said, what part of my comment that I put in did you not understand fish in the mid south? Dale said, I'll tag him the day after he finishes so he has to do it again. <laughs> Just have him doing two or three at once. Go ahead and tag him. And that way he'll have like day one of seven and then day three of seven. That'll be fun. He'll try to keep them straight. <clears throat> Men's house says, Beck of the part where you won't tell everyone that we're dating. You said I can't tell them. So I won't. <laughs> You're staying on that, JBT? He said, I'm hoping to get a few good ones. I'm staying on that. You've been catching a few pretty good ones. That that Your channel cat, though, don't even look like channel cats. In the light that you take pictures in, they look blue. They're big channel cats, too. What's up, Fresno? I like saying Fresno real country because it's all the way on the other side of the country where they don't have our accent. Like I said, well, I can see you're definitely not obedient. So it sucks to be you, Mid South. Mid South said, Y'all know good and well if I were dating Becca, she'd keep me in line. <laughs> she'd whoop your butt, make you some roadkill squirrel to eat. Dale said, Having a nurse for a wife can put a cr uh, cramp on watching live. She says, I have to be, I have to go to bed before work tomorrow. Really? <laughs> Travis is always telling me to go sleep. And the only time I really can is on the weekends. <laughs> You'll be live by 11.30 Central. JBT. What I want to know is why one of you people did not win the lottery today or last night. CEO said, y'all catch something and have a great night. I expect stories to be posted from the lively chat. Roadkill biscuits and gravy, yum, mid -South said. Good night, Dale. I guess you should probably get some sleep before work tomorrow. Every, everybody's not like me and can be all tired and grumpy all week. <laughs> Come on, fish. <clears throat> He said, most likely 11, but I put extra time to make sure I don't be late. You'll be late anyway. <laughs> Zed, Zed said, by the way, Cindy, I put up my Christmas tree short again yesterday. <laughs> that is the funniest thing. If y'all haven't seen Zed's Christmas tree short, click on that link and watch it. It is so funny. Seal said, you didn't buy my ticket. It didn't win. How do you know I didn't buy your ticket? It just didn't win. The winning ticket was sold in where was it, Travis? Oregon. Oregon. I read it to him earlier. I knew I wouldn't remember, but I knew he would. Vince South said, how do you know I didn't win? Because you would not be in my chat right now. But I have a feeling you'd buy me a houseboat if you won the lottery. <laughs> Seagull said, now I'm going. Okay. Good night, Dale. Good night, Dale. Jefferson said, I didn't win because I don't gamble. It's been a long time since I need to come up off <clears throat> some lottery tickets there, and we need to do that whole thing where we maybe when the fish start biting again, we'll have better luck on the lottery tickets. That was fun where we went from store to store, you know it. But you got to win in order to do that. A little bit, anyway.
My dog said I'm not old enough or rich enough to win the lottery. That's what it seems like, doesn't it? Mid-South said Earl must have won. Earl just don't come to my lives anymore unless there's a call to action. Somebody has to text him and tell him to get in here. We need help. Then he shows up with the Calvary. <laughs> Good night, Troy. <laughs> you blew me out the kiss. <laughs> Bobby said, I won $4. Did you really? Mince I said, oh, to hear Travis yell, double, 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 shovel. <laughs> double, double, shovel, he said. <laughs> yeah, it, it's about time we heard you jumble, 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 jumble. Uh, maybe if you do that, you'll get a bite on the and catch us a blue deal. <clears throat> They seem to be. And so I said, if I won the lottery, I might could afford to take Lady Becca on a date. Oh, God. Bobby said, yeah, on a $6 ticket. <laughs> so you're only $2 in the hole. <laughs> hey, years ago, Travis's mom won $10,000 on the Powerball. I have to say that because it's cool to know somebody that actually won some on the lottery. My, my stepdad won 25000 on a scratch-off. But I didn't find out about it two years later. <laughs> Becca said, the ones that are leaving, have a truly amazingly blessed night. Almost felt like I was channeling her when I said that. My dog said, okay, it's face feeding time. Later, y'all. Come back after you do stuff in your face. Thumpaholic. Hello. He said, why? Why? <laughs> Somebody was paying attention in chat. In Modog's chat the other night. Becca said, where? Where would Modog? Why, Modog? I said, I told Mo the other day, I was like, like you don't hear that already enough for the kids. <laughs> Travis had to come and chat and start it. <laughs> He's like, I know. Why, why, why? Becca said, where would we go fish in the Mid-South? Got to know me, so choose wisely. One. That could be a flat, babe. Long fishy, fishy. Huh? Leave it long. Put on clicker and let him get take it. Just swim away with it. <laughs> You're talking to my, you're toying with my emotions. You know, loosen the clip. A little nod makes a pen. Oh, No, lose the trashy people. To Bill Dance's private hog boss farm, bass farm. Really? Too fancy, wouldn't care anything about that. She wants to go mudding on a four wheeler. You want to go, Be Be Becca? 922 said, I got one better than that, Becca, or Mid-South. 
You can go again to your favorite vegan restaurant in a tux and a wedding dress. What's up, Cast Blast? Over there and uh, real down on it. No, pick it up. Oh, he turned now. Uh, pick it up. Give him flat first and pick it up. Don't let him show you. Uh huh. And then the three line. Uh huh. Just swim away with it. I want him to turn away from me. Okay. Let's see if we can pull the flame away. Flame away. Take the line. Yeah, he's like a cartoon. Yeah. Flick it over and reel down. And feel it hooking. Yeah, as long as I keep him hooked. Well, don't pull out of the mouth or keep him it up. Try to get this one in here. I'm mm. going up to the shore. Mm -hmm. oh. No way. There you go. Watching, he said he's got another answer. Keep going. Why did you back in here, though? Cramp. Damn it. Oh, sick. I'm sick. Fish two. Fish two, Cindy nothing. At least I could see him though. Someone bring you to Win Winrock Park for riding new TVs. You ride for hours and not see anyone to ride in groups. Hey, broke back Bob, what's up? Well, it was a uh, flathead too. A little flathead, but it was a flathead. Stump a hawk, like I said, real down on it. Mm 
<laughs> There's a wolf in the house. Got that stuck in my head all night. Dang it. Lord, what's up, Randy? Beautiful eyes, Miss Becky. It was a quick release, Cindy. LOL, it counts. <laughs> oh, man, I need to get my hands on it, though. That doesn't sound too bad. And if nobody is around in Mid South Texas, if I can get rid of him, and nobody would know. <laughs> I said fish only count if you had enough control uh, control of the fish to fry. Absolutely, Vic. There are all kinds of places to hide bodies. Sweet just needs some hogs around, not to leave as evidence. <laughs> yep. Becca, even if they knew, they wouldn't care. We lost two. Well, the flathead who came off right at the bank of the way We could see him. We got a sink full of bleeding out now. I'm going to fry up some again. Good. What's up, Tony? I just had a flathead come off at the bank. It's disgusting. I don't know. It's happened twice tonight. First time it was halfway in. I had it halfway in and it came off. And then that time I could see it. It was it was wrapped up in the line. As soon as it unwrapped it, spit that head out and it was gone. It was a, a little bitty, or well, it was not one little bitty, but it was little flat head on a big old head piece of a skipjack. So, Casper said it was a quick release, AJ. Because <laughs> she would feel deflated. Mr. Mike, somebody would care. You blow up wouldn't get any more action. She'd get lonely. <laughs> I'll let the pooches out. Be right back. All right, Becca. I can't see it either. Bobby said, I got three in spring for day. And we'll clean them tomorrow. Yeah, it don't feel nothing. Now, uh, Lynn Birchfield uh, put a uh, little fish in a lap of things on the comment. I don't have to go, Miss Becca, but thank you for caring. Broke back, Bob said. <laughs> Bob, are you going to send me some barbecue sauce? Yeah, that don't make no sense. It has to be good. When my live on my camera was recording and showing live, but then when I try to go to my studio, it says upcoming. And that's where I'm stuck. Didn't let me get any further. So you did. You went to StreamYard and clicked uh, Enter Studio, and it wouldn't let you go in? What's up, Lonnie? My next video will be a banger. Watch it Tuesday morning. Cool, Lonnie. We'll do. I'm taking off work to see the eclipse. I'm not looking forward to being stuck in traffic for hours to watch a halo around the moon. Man, there's not going to be another one until like 2044. I ain't going to make it that, that age. I took tomorrow off work, too. I hate wasting my vacation days because when I'm out, I'm going to feel trapped. But 
man, these things don't come around all that often. It may be cloudy, though. It's not right now. <laughs> I told you that I would send it with the stickers. For real, though? Are you really going to? That's what I was asking. <laughs> I got to send out, uh, I can't believe I forgot to stick stickers in that one package of JB Weld for hunting stuff. Where's my rolls and butter? They were not delivered to me. Cass, did you make the pop-up live? I never not got a notification. I didn't get a notification either. I wasn't using StreamYard. I was using my DJ Cosmo Action 3 app called DJ Mimo. It has, we're supposed to have the capabilities of connecting to YouTube and live streaming. Apparently not on my phone. I don't know. I, I never heard of that. Oh, Lonnie said we ate them, Lisa. That's awesome, Bob. I can't wait to try it. He said he'd send it. Mr. Rogers, I think it's cool that they canceled school for the eclipse. Did they cancel it? When I was a kid, we had an eclipse, and my mom came and got us out of school. But I took it off work last time because, yeah, everybody wondered why I was asking for that day off way ahead of time, and I was like, don't watch the eclipse. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Totality is, anyway. We're only going to get about 90% totality here on this one. My brother's driving back into the path of totality. So he'll get to see two of them. Jefferson said, I'm hoping to see it from work. Can ask for a more beautiful property to see it. So hopefully it works out. I don't have any glasses, though. Travis has a welding uh, hood. I wish I would have tried to find some glasses somewhere. Dang it. Cass, tighten it up. You should go on StreamYard. It's free for the first 20 hours or 20 hours a month, actually. Bob said, use it at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything that may or may not happen. Well, don't scare me. <laughs> I'd be like, what is he put? What he put in here? I ain't using this barbecue sauce. What he put in here? He's roofing me. I know AJ I was quite, quite frustrated today. Yeah, I don't know anything about the maps. I always use StreamYard. I never have even used uh, YouTube. Everybody saying hi. We're all going to die according to the fanatics. We d if we didn't die during the last one, why are we going to die during this one? Is it the... Because it's in the 2020s or what? Tony said, I kept looking through the day. What's up, JSP? Johnny Small Pepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. You were five when we had one? I, I was in like sixth grade when we had one. And then the last one was in what, 2017? <laughs> Well, he said you can find me at a a Lake Bank near you tomorrow. Lake Bank. Mid South said, "Why are you sending y'all sending JB Well to people?" Well, Mid South, if you'd have been there during one of my lives, we that's what we gave away. We thought it'd be funny when we were on the island. Um, we were giving it away. If you catch uh, guess the correct weight on the fish and Michelle Mason won one and uh, hunting stuff won one. Michelle Mason never did get hers though. I have to send her out another one. Uh, I can't remember the other one was the men's was called hard steel or something like that and the women's was called pink pussycat. 327 years old. Are you a vampire? Sat on the bank over an hour trying to get it to work. That sucks. I hate 
but one of technology that won't do what it's supposed to. Bob said, if it takes more than what I'm sending, then trade Travis in for a new model with an extended warranty. <laughs> Ted's place said, Johnny Small Pepper, damn good to see you. Tony said, my uncle came down from Chicago. We're going to this spot where it's almost four minutes of the eclipse. Tomorrow? Yeah, you're probably close to the path of totality. Mommy, that's not going to help since we have to work. Dang. Hey, JG. What's going on? Hopefully, I've hooked two tonight. I hadn't landed two. Maybe I didn't hook them. Maybe they just had it in their mouths because, you know, that little flathead, I think, was just wrapped up in the line mostly. Jefferson said, I remember making something as a kid in school to see them, but this one sounds serious. You can make a viewer in a, out of a box. Just put a pen all in it. What's up, JG? John Smallong? <laughs> oh, because it aligns over a town called Rapture. Well, hmm. Mr. Rogers said, I think the fish might bite during the eclipse. Try that again, Mr. Johnny. <laughs> Broke back dong. <laughs> he said, sorry, I meant dildo. <laughs> well, dang it. Once again, with the with the typos and the autocorrects. 2017, I was at the beach watching it, Lonnie said. I thought it was 2017. Brokeback Bob said, Johnny, it happens when you get my age. Yeah, I took off that day. Anthony J. Bud, I hope you had a great weekend, Johnny said. He caught some fish this weekend. I'm pretty jealous. Randy said I was on Chill Howie Lake during the last one. Where, um, where are we? What's the name of this? Where the culvert? Beals Chapel. Same here, Lisa. I was actually on a roof for that one. Yeah, I've seen some of the pictures of Tony's catches this weekend also. Tomorrow. That's cool. <laughs> like you said, Jefferson, I was outside watching it, took a, took a break from plumbing, and I turned away for a moment, and the contractor mooned his wife, dad, and my dad. Glad I missed it. <laughs> Bob said, all the eclipse is, main is the maintenance man is changing the batteries and bulbs. That's it. Did you see? He was pouring one today uh, with copper. Bob said, Zed, I'll be your model for your next sculpture, and you'll make millions and have extra orders. <laughs> Bob, are you an anthill? Some people make mountains and molehills. Zed makes sculptures of anthills. Come on, fish. Oh, I thought something took the bobber under. <laughs> What's up, Mike Chavez? Welcome in. I'm 
I'm ready for another bite now, fish. <laughs> Maybe you should take the bobber off and see if you can catch them. Yeah, I about that. But he'll get a big surprise when he sees what he gets from me. <laughs> oh, did you make one today? Because I didn't get a notification and I didn't see it. I did see uh, it was the, the Dueling Banjos music was on uh, his page, but not on that short. I don't know. I was. I did hear the flute music on it when I went back and watched it again. Still cleaning my new sculpture. Lots of rocks. I'm surprised you're able to get most of them out of there. It's so epic beautiful. It's so fishing beautiful. <laughs> Is your phone, you got signal, don't you? Yeah. Can you go on and click on that link Tony dropped? We can't catch a bluegill. Sucks. Brokeback Bob said, where to fish? Zed said, at the store. We don't want storefish. You know, I went online today to see if I could get some more of them little pineapples. Well, you know, because Cracker Barrel has some of the stuff they sell in their store online. I couldn't find any. I was like, crap. I need some of those little pineapples. Sid so said, oh, that's right, Tony. Way better than, never mind. Brokeback Bob said, you all have better looking flagpoles than John Parker does. <laughs> We got flagpoles that show up in the dark. Mm. <laughs> that music sounds so zen. <laughs> did you read it? I mean, did you watch it? Read it. Wilson had a baby pineapple. Oh, that pineapple looks so real. <laughs> it's got the little things at the end of the leaves and stuff. Zed said, my brother's name is Anthony. He's a dick. Well. What's up, John Parker? They must have conjured you up. Welcome in. John does too, but he doesn't use them anymore. What's up, John? He just said we had better looking flagpoles than you. Fuss at him. Well, he probably was in here and when you said that, so you're the one that brought him to the surface and made him uh, say something in chat. That guy made me Tony. <laughs> What's up, Eddie Gross? I figured his name would be Richard there, Zed. Tony said, yeah, Brother River Rat 3030 did one of the first one of his pineapple that Cindy sent him. So he used the same music. 
<laughs> Therefore, tell me works for me. You don't like your name, Tony. All right, it's time for another bite. Apparently, I can't fish worth a lick. Can't fish worth a lick. I said, apparently, I can't fish worth a lick. These fish can't bite worth a lick is what it is. They're not getting hooked either. See, I even brought a built-in killing fire starter. <laughs> Zed said Richard too good for my brother. Really? Brito said, Tony, I love the trend I've started. Most call you Tony. <laughs> I know y'all gave each other nicknames. It's funny. Travis gave me mine. Tony, you know, y'all are, everybody around here is a bunch of foot fetish people apparently talking about toes all the time. Tony said, I've been called so much worse or so worse. Tony is a blessing. <laughs> Tony. What's up, Sampy? Welcome in. Oh no, Zed said my mom married a guy after his divorce. After the divorce, his name was Dick Noseworthy. For real? Tony said, oh no, don't get Cindy started on toes and mud. It's just a backup plan, Tony. That's all. Everybody needs a backup plan. I gotta do it before my feet get any older. I gotta go have a pedicure, so I take some years off my feet. Where's Monty? Look, those are even tent shaped for better burning. <laughs> Man, I've got to have find a way to get that that dude to uh, to set me some of those outside. I can get a Gaylord box full of them if I had a way to haul them. Dead serious, dang! That's funny. I feel like if you name your kid something unfortunate like that, that. Your parent, I mean, like you really didn't want them kids. Why you name your kids something they're going to get teased over? If your last name is Noseworthy, think hard <laughs> before you name your child their first name. Him and my mom got in a car accident when I was 13. He died. Oh, that's sad. Lisa said, my toe is going to the doctor tomorrow at three. Well, that wood burns good, don't it? What's up, Jerry? Welcome in. How are things in Jamaica? Jamaica. I need a fish. Did something eat your bait? No. 
What's wrong with these fish? You caught barracudas today. Awesome. Dick said, said Dick, Dick, think hard, noseworthy. It kind of has a ring to it. <laughs> no. Hey, no, that wood is burning good. I brought that wood. I got it from work. Tony said your parents are pricks for that one, for real. So, John Parker, have you caught anything recently? That's a nice fire. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I was so excited about that little flathead, you know what? You let him get, well, get away. I don't know how I could have not. Third rod just got by. I saw the line move. Jerry said, Jamaica, the wood word wood or hood is used in a different context. Oh, hood or word. Did you hear that echo in the when it popped? <laughs> All right, break over back to polishing. I had a teacher named Richard, and the troublemakers would write on the board with Richard takes class all the time. Hey, hunting stuff, what's up? Mid South said, fire and flagpoles with Travis and Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fire takes your mind off the flagpoles, so. Mike said, or Sam, said, here's a kitty, kitty, kitty. Said said, just so you all know, I asked Cindy for her permission to hang out here tonight. So it's her fault. Zed, I failed to see how you could be how you could take away or add anything that isn't already in this chat. <laughs> Meaning you fit right in. My dad sent me to the bank to tell his name was Miss Dick Licker. Uh-uh. <laughs> I've, I've hooked two or had two almost in and lost both. So I don't know what kind of luck you call that. Bad luck, but good luck for, for actually hooking something. So, yeah, I'm a little bit on the fence about what kind of luck it was. But, they, you know, there's been fish involved. So... I'm calling it win just because it's been so bad lately. Lisa said, Zed, blame her. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure how to feel about the fact that we've caught fish, but we lost fish. I don't know. The bites have been so bad lately. I'm I'm happy that there's been fish seen <laughs> and felt. <laughs> you know, I think it's it's going better. <laughs> and then it's like we'll do good one weekend and then the bite just dies. I don't know. Anthony J, that's what the tag said. Is 
<laughs> I wonder if they pranked her somebody. If I didn't have this phone right here, I'd be over there sitting with my pillow <laughs> by the fire. Lisa said, Zed, welcome to Sandy After Dark. I had a friend in high school with the name Richard Smallwood, <laughs> Randy said. <laughs> See, that's another name where, I mean, why would your parents set you up to be beat up or teased? I just don't get it. That's, I really don't think that people that do that to their children ever wanted children. See, Randy Richard Smallwood's parents were assholes. Yeah. Hey, Rob Fox. What's up? Welcome in. Jamaican said he got mad because I said hi ho. <laughs> Is the light on low? Are we gonna make it light wise? Look at that fire. Cash makes the best fires. You'd have been an excellent pyromaniac. I'm just saying. Otter cat. Welcome in. I already count all those subs and invisible content. It's amazing. Have have you guys all subbed to Autocat? Are you holding steady in the seventies? Okay. There ain't even much driftwood around here, is there? People burned it all. Down to sixty one. For real, <laughs> people went and took their, they just ain't going to have a sub that don't have content. They ain't going to do it. New sensation of YouTube. Mitzel said, damn it. Mitzel said, Cindy's birth name was Olive Lipschitz. Well, thank you for that, Mid South. I love lip shits. I did read it, Mid South. If that's what you're damning it about. What's up, Hunter? Howdy, howdy. I went to school with a guy named Robert Cox, and I just realized that it's a Bob Cox. <laughs> Randy Swain said, Otter, did you see when it was over 100? He's got 61 subscribers. Otter Cat said, it's fine. They just don't know what's good. <laughs> And you're not about to tell them. 
<laughs> or show them. I was about to say, somebody needs to just make it like a quick short and send it to AutoCAD so he can post it so he'll have something on there. People will stay. I don't care if you just have one. And so I said, Becca Mudtramp, did you leave me? She hasn't said much in a while. Maybe she's out trying to chase down a squirrel. She went to walk the puppies, Med South. Yep. Our cat said, Randy, gray hair, over 100. What the hell? <laughs> Man, they were working it even after you left. It was funny. They were like, but have you subbed to AutoCAD? What's up, Travis? There's 106 when Cindy's living. It really did it get up that high. Cool. Yeah, it was 80. All we had to get was 80 for uh, Hitch by Hitch to give that gift card away. Everybody came in. Were you uh, still up uh, AutoCAD when Reef Robber and all them came in to try to get you some subs? We had people on it. That was fun. We need a project like that, a mission every week. Because <laughs> my chat are the, the they're the best at a call to action. Oh no. Uh, Hitch by Hitch gave away a gift card when it got over. When it was a, it was eighty, wasn't it? I guess some people want to see vids. <laughs> Sandy's back. Mid South said, "Get me above five thousand subs." Just five thousand, Mid South. There's a bunch of cast nets in this culvert, isn't there? People have lost. Are you doing good, Otter? Wasn't it 80 that we had to have to, in order to get... Wasn't it 80? Uh, that Otter Cat got to the other night. 85? Well, Hitch by Hitch gave it away at 80, didn't he, the card? Uh, yeah. He, we had to get to 80 to get to... And he gave away a gift card. But I think he got about 85. Otter Cat, sinus infection almost gone, Sandy. How far behind am I? I'm not. Other cat said, Randy, don't listen to stuff. He's a prick. <laughs> I won the gift card and I'm still waiting for it to arrive. <laughs> Mid South, you win everything. <laughs> Mm 
Kevin wanted to get started. No, I'm playing with fire. Listing is a golden rule. Randy said, no man south, you want to date with the person that chose you. None of us did. Well, Troy might. Troy might have. That is shit. Someone catch me up since it was up. Somebody catch her up. We were talking about uh People who chose unfortunate name for their unfortunate names for their kids. Zed had some good ones. And then then we were talking about AutoCAD, how many subs we got for him the other night in my life. AutoCAD I said, I can't Sandy ain't been here long enough. And stuff said, Well, Sandy, those yellow looking things sticking up are fishing poles. Jefferson said, I don't know, Sandy. I don't think anyone is really a prick. Ha ha. <laughs> Sandy Toe said, oh, geez, honey, stuff. I'm not that slow. No fish are caught, and Travis builds good fires. I hooked two fish, and I had the flathead in here next to the bank. But he was wrapped up in the line. When he unwrapped, he let go of that fish head that he had in his mouth and it was all over. He scooted. The other one I only got about halfway in before he came off. So. And we all knew kids with shitty names like Richard and Dick and Smallwood. Yep. That's basically it. Travis does build good fires. <laughs> Yeah, I said that people that named their kids stuff like that really didn't want kids. Jefferson said, I left to do laundry and make a sandwich. I could have missed something, I guess. No, you didn't. Sandy said, push you in the water with that kind of cheek hunt stuff. Yep. Ain't no fish in here, are there? And they won't bite the little worm? Oh. What? Oh. He said, oh, damn, Sandy, I can't swim. Autocat said, Sandy, I told you he was a prick. <laughs> he did say that.
I want to move down here on this other rock, but if I do, I don't think you guys can see the rods. <laughs> Nothing. I sure would like to have some live bait. Just now it's hard to come by. That wood is dry. It's going to burn up quick. Hitch right Hitch said, finally made it back to camp. Did I miss one? Not if you saw me almost get the little flathead. <laughs> I'm sure if you put your feet down, you could stand hunting stuff. I said push, not pick you up and throw. <laughs> we played a game of not it when I asked you out. The last one to say not it love loses. <laughs> Seven hitch, they were huge. <laughs> they were they were personal best all. Yeah, progressively bigger. Here, I don't know why I tell the truth. I can tell, I can tell, I can't help it. I can tell a big old story, though. Then he'd scroll back and find out I was lying. Just can't do it. Hey, 217, what's up? Hey, Ben. Thanks for coming in. Mitzel said, Sandy better say not it. There are only a few less that haven't, haven't said it. <laughs> not playing Mitzel, so. <laughs> Mitzel said, Sandy's about to date, win a date for me. Come on, fish. It's been about long enough. Juggling commitments today, Sandy said. That doesn't sound like a Sandy live, Hitch by Hitch said. Seven. Aw. Well, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> I only had one feeling left. Y'all wait till one night when I get on them. It said, uh, seven, that doesn't sound like a Cindy Live. Now my feelings hurt. He just don't know. We caught almost 200 pounds of fish on one of my lives, but that was last year. <laughs> I have been known to catch a fish before. Quite a few of them. Not really great big ones. It took a whole lot to get to like 200 pounds. Oh, he said more like 15, Cindy. <laughs> Thanks for that lie. My feelings already hurt, though. Can I cash it in as a celebration date when I'm 100 years old? <laughs> Random fishing. If you don't have him, pick him up. He just dropped his link. Pineapple in exchange for sex mid south said, and it dropped his length. If you don't have mid south, mm, he's got a short where he turns over his kayak and nearly drowns, and he's like, mm, and drops his fishing pole. So you can check that out. But I tagged him in a post where he's supposed to do seven days of posting fish, and he didn't do it on Facebook. Mid south said, Sandy, yes, I'll wait forever for you or at least until you're 100 but when i'm 100 years old and putrid you can take me out for ice cream and soda wow it's how she just agreed to go out with you Hunter said ha ha we talked about that on my live which thing hunter did you talk about on your live i get confused sometimes
And so I said, Sandy would be my honor. I'll be dang as I live and breathe. Sandy just said she'd go out with Miss South. And Travis is gone. Sunshine and 65 at camp, Otter said. Really? Because I almost dumped myself two or three times. Oh, <laughs> about him turning over. Mid South, will you make it to 135? <laughs> The flipping of the kayak. That's crazy. And that would kind of freak me out. A lot freak me out being upside down on a kayak. It's for her, hell yeah. Sandy said, oh, well, I was forever behind in the live. I couldn't match up Cindy to the chat. Ha <laughs> ha, you thought I was behind. <laughs> hitch by hitch said autocat four foot and dark Tony said tighten it up Sandy what's up Curtis what's up welcome in oh he went over to the other side Yeah, I tried to turn around and almost went in. Dang. I looked at uh, kayaks today and I was like, ooh. <laughs> Travis said, you better get a GoPro because you can't take your phone because somebody's going to end up in the water. And so I said, I've never told a woman to tighten it up. Hmm. Kegels. Date with, hashtag date with Mid-South. Hey, Troy, welcome back. <laughs> and that's what Troy wants to win. Flamingo crew, Sandy, Flamingo crew. You can hear the geese. You know, there's a loon down here. I hear it just about every, every night I'm down here. I didn't think we had them around here. That's pretty cool. Travis is still on the cast net, still trying to get some live bait. What's up, Uncle Rudd? You been asleep? Crazy as a loon. Yep. They sound lonely. Well, there's all kinds of crazy loons around here. I'll make the prettiest pink bean pole, Sandy said. Yes, every night you've been there, Luna's there. Are you starting to, to understand? <laughs> I've been asleep for six hours. Well, dang it, Red. Hey, did you see where I tagged you in that post? Check your Facebook. He ain't rent. <laughs> Our cat said, is Travis mad? He said she had. Well, he got a little irritated earlier. It's because we were struggling to get here and get set up and carry stuff. And But that's not why he ain't talking. He's not here. Like, he's on the other side of the road, on the other side of this culvert, throwing the cast net, trying to get us some live bait. <laughs> he's around. He's been trying to catch us bluegill whenever uh, whenever he was over here, he was fishing for bluegill. And now he's mad because we're not catching nothing. Yeah, Mid-South. I'll put him on that when he gets back. <laughs> I'm mad because them two got off.
<laughs> All the cat said is trash, man. Because he ain't said shit. <laughs> and I said, no, he's over there throwing the cat out. And he said, oh, he finally got one. Woo! So that works. Awesome. I said, no, he's I've been over there uh, throwing the cast net. Mitch South said, now you're mad because you ain't catch catching nothing. <laughs> Hello? I don't know how people do that. It's like, hey, I wish I was fishing. Jeff said, no way he's mad. That's just the way it goes. Curtis said, whoop, whoop. Autocat said, Travis, we need more wood. <laughs> and then uh, Hitch said, Travis, chill out. And Anthony said, Travis, calm down. <laughs> You're just too too high energy, too worked up tonight. It is. Zed said, honk if you're horny. <laughs> that truck going by. Yeah. yeah. It's probably Rudd. <laughs> Rudd just have hopped into chat. He's been asleep for the last six hours. I slept a long time last night, Travis said, like 10 hours. And so I said, oh, said put horns in chat. <laughs> and people went by and hung, don't know what they started. <laughs> I was going to say, my chat will jump on anything, but that's probably literally my chat will jump on anything. Some of them. <laughs> Mid -South, Mid South is there honking right now, Hitch by Hitch said. Tony said, Travis, it's okay not to be okay. <laughs> but why? <laughs> you should have been in Mo Dogs the other night, Tony. Were you in there when Travis was doing all that? Why, 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 why? Like Mo Dog don't have little kids that ask him why every two seconds anyway. Mid South said, honk if you're ornery. <laughs> <laughs> honk honk. He's booby honking. Jake said, Travis, it will be okay. <laughs> Travis is going to be the focus of the chat now. <laughs> <laughs> Jefferson said, it has to be okay not to be okay a lot of the time. Ha ha. True. I'll tell you what, you're awful cute. It just took me like 45 years to catch one fish. Yeah. 15 like casts. Two hours to catch a bluegill. Yeah. But I successfully done it without losing the net, so. That's a bonus. I was skeptical about losing the net. Uh-oh. Especially right here. I've lost one right there before. I've lost the net. Before. Hunter said that was funny on my asking the why thing. He was like, hashtag, <laughs> my dog could not figure it out <laughs> for a while. He was like, why? Is he asking why? Why what? Somebody answer him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was hashtag why, and it was pretty funny. But yeah, Mo was like totally, <laughs> what is he asking? Why? And so I said, how big was that bluegill? Well, it wasn't very big, but. About three inches long. Three inches? Oh, one just moved right there. <laughs> the fish and Hoosier. Hello, welcome in. It was either this or watch Honey Badger porn. What did I find here? Well, you, we might get to talk about some Honey Badger porn, but you probably won't get to see it here. On my last live, though, was or the time, live before last, we got to watch duck sex, so. Hitch by hitch said. <laughs> Lord, let me scroll, scroll back here. 
Tommy said, honk if you're Mid-South bumper stickers. I want one of those. Sandy said, I can picture you driving around with a honk if you're ornery bumper stickers. Honey badger porn. I can't even think about that. Jay said, Sandy, it's more like show me your hits bumper stickers. What's up, backlash? Fire, fire on the bank. <clears throat> Mitchell said, Hitch, I would never, unless Sandy would do it. We just lost a lot. Sandy said, Well, who's your? Not badger porn, but horny ordering men with honking issues, so pick your poison. <laughs> Fish and Hoosier said, Damn, I was kidding about the porn. Well, you know, I don't know if it's so much porn as it is nature, but when you're out this much in nature, sometimes you, you see what you see. You know what I mean? Like duck porn. Duck porn. That's what I said. Duck, we had duck duck porn the other night. I can't. Honey badgers are mean. I can't even imagine. I kind of really don't want to imagine. Jefferson said, "Yep, all guys roll with those stickers." Ha ha. Yep. Backlash said, "I just finished watching WrestleMania. I think every that I mean everybody was watching WrestleMania." I did not backlash the light switch or light. Shaking my head, backlash said. Red said, 25 more days. Sandy said, I don't know, backlash. The timing was impeccable. Autocat said, I am not ornery. Mincy, I said, 25 more days of having money, and that's a fact. Mommy. <laughs> Yep. Fish and Hoosier said, did the ducks bill you for watching? Asshole. <laughs> it scared me so bad I couldn't help but cut it. <laughs> Jerk. Two ninety nine a minute. Sandy said you're crabby otter crab. <laughs> Tony said, WrestleMania, tell my fish maniacs, catch fish, brothers. <laughs> Jake said, Travis is not ornery. He's angry. Well, maybe he's angry because he's ornery. Jefferson said, I didn't wrestling was still a thing. Missed, missed that, I guess. Didn't know wrestling was still a thing. Backlash said, I'm going to work around the house tomorrow and then go catfishing Tuesday. It's going to rain. It's going to rain Tuesday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, it better not Wednesday. I'll be back. Need to be caffeinated, Sandy said. Mid-South said, Jefferson, yes, watching men in Speedos. Acting out a soap opera is still a thing. Backlash said, then Wednesday, I start my new job. Ooh. Backlash just dropped his link. If anybody doesn't have Backlash Fishman, go take him out. I've got to learn Mo Dog's little litany of what he says. It's about the bell and the. Hmm? What the bell? Ring that bell and whatever it was he said, it rhymes. So. 
Our cat says, no wonder Travis is ticked. What'd you call him that, Cindy? What'd I call him? Ornery? I got a good mind to go find that dude that wants to his motor up around through there. Because I can still hear him well through yonder. Go find him and flatten all four of his tires. Yep. And then pepper spray him. Just for being stupid. While he's standing there watching. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Travis keeps so himself. Travis kept, keeps himself in check. He's a meaning. <laughs> What's up, Gerald? Just got done watching WrestleMania. Didn't know you were live. <laughs> Let's see how fast chat goes up. <laughs> WrestleMania's done. WrestleMania did it. Not supposed to rain here till Wednesday, Backlash said. Come on, Steve. Get your fresh logo out there. I heard that yesterday's WrestleMania was good. You know, as good as WrestleMania could be, in my opinion. Fishing for yeah, adventures and stories of fishing for claimers just dropped his link. Go check him out. Ring that buzzer, ring that bell, whatever it is that Mo Dog says. Because <laughs> I like the way he says, I have to learn it. Did everyone make sure they hit the thumbs up? Thank you, Backlash. Flatten his tires, then you would hear the motor and the thump, thump, thump of his flat tires. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing Hoosier said that. That'd be funny, though. I'm about to go to bed, though. I'm exhausted. You have a good night. Come on, fish. Just fight. And I made a uh, community post about Gerald tonight. If you can go to my community page and check it out. Gerald? Yeah. Oh. Hitch by Hitch said, that's it. Push that. That's it. Push that there. Push that button. Ring that bell or something like that. I can't remember how it is. Jefferson said, Don Stein said, no need to get in trouble, Travis. Ha ha. I know how that you feel, though. Yeah, I know. I can still hear that stupid truck. Oh, no, I don't. Why has he got people that's, ugh. He said, fish proclaimer. He keeps running around acting stupid like that. You don't have to worry about him anyway. No. Somebody else will get him. Becca said, I didn't run off, Mr. Mike. I ate. Then I've been. Replying to comments on the three shorts I dropped today. One had kissing in it. Surprised you didn't see it there fishing for Mid South. Have you not been watching Becca's content, Mid South? Yeah, Mid South. I thought you said you'd been watching Becca. Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Scotty, hey. Hey, hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. 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 What's up, Scotty? <laughs> Gerald said, everyone subbed to Otter Cat. <laughs> is, anybody, is everybody subbed to Otter Cat? He's got some real good content over there. So good. Make you blind. Yeah, you won't be able to handle it. Your brain won't process it. Make a, make a mud tramp. Now good. you got me interested to go watch Kissing, LOL. Watch Kissing? And I said, sorry, got to go watch some shorts. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Cindy. You appreciate it so much. You're welcome, Gerald. Sucks to struggle. Mid South said, Becca, we could make lots of kissing videos. What about short videos? You don't want the kissing videos to be short. Oh. <laughs>
Hey. If or C, how you doing today? We want to fish. We want to fish. Autocat said, ask Travis if he, he would feel better if I want, if I brought him one of my wiggle hoochies. Hey, did you get the wiggle, the wiggle hoochies in? That's what you need to make a sort of. The wiggle hoochie. Just hold the wiggle hoochie up in front of the camera for 12 seconds. Add my sound instant. I, I bet you have 100 more subs. The wiggle hoochie. Wiggle hoochie. Make sure you put that in the title, too. Did you get the wiggle hoochies for real, Ottercat? I'm, like, perk interested now. She's interested in the wiggle hoochie. Yeah. What job are you starting, Backlash? Sandy Toes said. He's going to be a jiggle O. His wife is going to be the only customer. As long as he ain't starting the wiggle hoochie job. The wiggle hoochie. Backlash. I don't get Becca my tramps notifications anymore. I hate when YouTube does that. Mid-South said, I've been watching Becca from outside her window. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Thank you so much for asking. I'm so, so. Hi, guys. I was watching WrestleMania. <laughs> Everybody was watching WrestleMania. My sub, I mean, not my sub count, but, but the count of people in here has went up by four in the past few minutes. Hitch by Hitch said, if we die tonight, mid cell. We die tonight. Uh mm huh. -hmm. What would you want to have done before you died? <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> Fish and Hoosier said, everyone has a wrench next to their name except for me, but I don't feel lonely. <laughs> a wrench. Beck ain't got a wrench? No, this is the Fish and Hoosier. It takes me a, a minute to get through the lives. If you come in a couple of times, I'll get you, though. I know you've been in before. Who, Becca? No, the fish and hoosier. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Becca. <laughs> no. I was thinking, how she not have a wrench? Becca has a wrench. She said she came in a few times, I'm thinking. No, <laughs> he's come in a few times. I was really confused. I know you were. Becca said, Mid South doesn't support me. He only wants to. What's your wiggle hoochie? Yeah, her wiggle hoochie. <laughs> Sandy Toe said, I'll protect you, Hoosier. You can sit on my bench. They'll surround you. They'll circle the wagons there, Hoosier. If you want somebody's link, tell them to type pineapple, though. Backlash said, Sandy tells I will be starting with a non-emergency medical transport company. Be trained to become an EMT while there, and my schedule will be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's awesome. Casper said, come on, Fish. Cindy and Travis need one of y'all. Yes, we do. We sure do. Sandy Toes said, wiggle hoochie. This is a side of After Dark I haven't seen. Oh, my Lord. You missed that live. First, Tony. That was right up your alley. It was. Tony. Tony's sister gave him some uh, fishing lures that were penis-shaped with travel hooks on the end. I wonder if he used them while, in the last couple of days while he's been fishing. If not, why he hasn't. But, so anyway, Autocat was supposed to order some wiggle hoochies because that's the feminine version of the things that Tony got. That's what's in now, the wiggle hoochie. The wiggle hoochie. Or, well, I don't know. The wiggle hoochie in. <laughs> oh, set your, your boot on fire. Ah. People are into the wiggle hoochie. We'll put it that way. <laughs> They'd like to be in anyway. like the wiggle hoochie. Very cool, Backlash. Best wishes, Jefferson said. <laughs> that is kick ass. Oh, it could be a wiggle hoochie. No. Nah. Casper said, has Travis always had a beard or is that new? Well, it comes and goes. It'll be gone here probably in the next few days. 
He shaves it off and then he lets it grow back to that point. He shaves it off, lets it grow back. And Becca said, I only like tongue wrestling mania. <laughs> I said, if we do that or not, I've never kissed Becca. <laughs> If we die tonight is the name of the short I dropped with the kissing. Well, I got to go watch Becca's shorts. Backlash said, when well, I'm already a volunteer fireman, and I absolutely love doing it volunteer-wise, so I might as well do a job where I get paid to do something I love, I enjoy. Exactly. Who just said, uh, no, I don't care about a wrench. That's how I said, but it wasn't of us kissing. Zed's, Zed's place said, I'm only also fishing, Hoosier. Will you be my friend? Hitch by Hitch said, not sure if Hoosier can be trusted yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy said, Cindy, you almost made my bench comment it sound a little left field there. Would I, would, would I not be slacking if I didn't? <laughs> like, come on now. Miss Shaw said, Wiggle Hoochie. Did you miss that live too? Wiggle Hoochie's a fishing lure. But it's exactly what it sounds like. So they sell, you need to look up some fishing lures. They sell some, some, Adult themed fishing lures, they do. Non mouse said, grab Becca and kiss her fishing amid south. And it may be not be if you die tonight. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's, we're having fireworks. Sounds like firecrackers, don't it? Grab Becky and kiss, and it may not be empty by tonight. <laughs> hey, River River Cats, what's going on? And now AJ has the opposite. He doesn't have the ho hoochie. He has, I don't remember what they were called, some sort of penis lures. But it's Autocat that ordered the wiggle hoochie. Oh, whether well, Cindy's house. Mitchell said, I'd die a happy man. He just died a night. Welcome in, Anonymous, else, by the way. Weather for ho. Conditions are partly cloudy with a temperature of 79. The wind's blowing from the west southwest at four, and it's 90% humidity. I love it at ho. Thank you for, for dropping the weather at ho, Tony. He said, I, <laughs> Gerald said, I just noticed y'all have a fire going. Geez, I'm tired. <laughs> Real cats, they were talking about Dick Noseworthy and other things earlier. We were. It was somebody's name, apparently, a real name. A what? Dick Noseworthy. Dick Noseworthy was, was, uh, that's what they named it? Was it your Zed's stepdad? It was somebody's stepdad or something like that. Dick Noseworthy. Somebody. What was that song? Uh, named your kid. Uh, Sue. A boy named Sue. Boy named Sue. Johnny Cash sung it. Yeah. How do you do? Yeah, we've been talking some stuff. It all started with Tony. Yep. So Tony is we got to start talking. Oh, now Tony's innocent listening. Got to talking about people that really probably didn't want their kids and named them unfortunate names that was going to cause them to get picked on, beat up. Sandy said, are you going to bring your wiggling, wriggling hoochie to our flamingo party, AJ? 
He better get him one. Not the flamingo. Becca said, Becca said, I have a straw in the shape of a penis. I got it at a bachelorette party and kept it in the glove box of my truck for special occasions. I've got pictures of things in that glass when I was mudding. That thing in my glass when I was mudding, LOL. <laughs> oh, God. Zed said it's his fault. Hunt and stuff said, Otter Cat doesn't always wiggle his hoochie, but when he does, it's pretty fishy. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> that one was priceless, yep. Zed said, sure, Beck, I believe you have a straw. Tony said, Sandy, I always bring the wiggle hoochies to the flamingo party. Becca said, I honestly think that kissing is an art. Not a lot of people have a knack for it, and others are, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand how you cannot be good at something if you want to be. I figure if you're not good at it, you just don't want to be. Except for me, like walking rocks. I really want to be able to walk walk rock the ripper up here and I can't do it. Can't do it. I just want to fall and break my neck every time I do. Gerald said, sup, Anthony. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Hoosier said, I thought volunteer fire firemen only made beans and chili and had fish fries for the locals, LOL. And he said, I'll have to thank Hopper for selling me up with a wriggling hoochie. Best deal of the year. Hopper? <laughs> Sandy said, that's right, Beck. And some kisses are downright sinful. Our cat said, Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. It's a whole wiggle. Not wriggle. Big difference. Or it's a wiggle, not wriggle. Big difference. I don't know where I read hole at. It ain't there. <laughs> I just saw a word that wasn't there. I read it again. That whole word wasn't there. Tony said the flamingo wiggle hoochie team. Check out Zed's place. I'm not catching up Mid-South. I'll, I'll be there when I get there, okay? What's the difference, Otter Enthusiasm? What's up, Don R? Welcome in. It was Zed's stepdad. The difference is you wiggle your ears and you wriggle your ass. Jefferson said, no more skinny dipping if the fish get used to penis lures. <laughs> Don just came in. Don all rambling on. <laughs> Hitch by Hitch said, AJ, I bought some penis lures from Amazon. I'm sending them to mid sales to keep him busy. <laughs> oh, no. Catfish Candy's going to have you on loudspeaker. All right, Cast. I'll try to read as much chat. As I can, but I am so far behind. Hugs and inflatable dolls don't mix. mid -Sell said, let me catch up. mid -Sell says, says Cindy as we watch her rod stand at attention. You're meant to remove the hooks before you use. Otherwise, you can't reuse them. Becca said, I'm reserving the name Dixie Normas for, for another channel venture. <laughs> Dixie Normas. 
Dixie Normus. Dixie Normus. Dixie Normus. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to shut off in some duct tape. <laughs> Just sub mid south. 570, sir. Hey, Matt. Been watching on TV. Wanted to come in and say, hey, fire crackling had me starting to get tired. You know what? A lot of times when we have the fire, it makes the whole chat more low key. People aren't as rowdy. They're pretty rowdy in here tonight, though. But we've noticed the difference in the chats when we have a fire and when we don't. And it makes everybody more laid back. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> we make him want to be sleepy. <laughs> Sandy said it makes me wonder how many channels Becca has in reserve. <laughs> Becca said Becca is very creative, Sandy Toes. <laughs> and South said, oh my, Dick's enormous. <laughs> Not mouse said the problem with penis lures is every one of them tends to track towards one side or the other. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll do pretty good during the spawn. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a big hit, huh? Right. Sandy said, I know you are. But I jumped from one particular fire into another was Becca. <laughs> Hitch, right, Hitch said, I don't know about that. It sounds like Becca's fired up. <laughs> yes. I feel like she's always fired up. Ornery as she is. Sandy said, do you buy them to copy their owner, Mouse? Let's <laughs> I said, less and more, less is more. <laughs> wants to talk to Becca privately. <laughs> <laughs> Less is more. <laughs> Depends upon which one and you use real to real and not a mouse, Becca said. You buy them to cover their owner. Jefferson said mine's straight as an arrow, but it might veer off to one way or the other in water. <laughs> Because <laughs> how they swim could a lady things. Mitch I said Ting is snatch says hello. <laughs> Ting and snatch could tell a lady things. <laughs> Water cat said Sandy Adorn. <laughs> <laughs> you just got called down, Sandy. Your full name. Well, not even your full name. Your made up name and your name. Sandy said, Hey, Otter, could you say my name in a deep tone? It might do things for me. <laughs> <laughs> Megan said, I'm sorry, but sometimes less is not more of myself. Mitchell said, Earl Fish is for Ting Ling Cod. Ling Cod. Well, Earl has crabs. That's all I'm going to say. Earl's definitely got crabs. Come on, fish. Something either is flash out there or there's something in the water. Swimming. 
the blue. Yeah, right there. You see where the lights are reflecting? It went through there. Oh. Uh, Might have been a pitch flipping, but. Sandy said, well, if he's going to scream my name as well, I'm gonna... Might as well make it work for both of us. <laughs> oh, God. You don't see nothing. Must have been something rolling in. <laughs> Did the big wide eyed emoji. Come on, fish, fish. Need to fluff the bait. <laughs> I said, Vic, I was blessed with a large tongue. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I thought that live little brim would do better. That little bitty flathead went after that that. Skip Jack head, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That old flathead was going big. Mm-hmm. Jake said, Sandy, safe word. <laughs> oh, Lord. Man, I said, I'll buff your carpet with my tongue oil. <laughs> Good Lord. You have a tongue oil, mental. Sandy said meatloaf. I know it, Jake. Meatloaf. <laughs> What happened, Bluegill? Mitzel said, I didn't want to offer to touch her hardwood. Rebecca said, Miss Sandy, just watch out for Ivana Tinkle. She can get kind of messy. <laughs> I'm not right in head. Ivana Tinkle. Ivana Tinkle. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Rubber sheets, Becca, mid South said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, now, hey, Slip, what's up? He said, Cindy, no BS catfishing, my favorite How YouTube you couple. Hello. What's up, Dale? Come on, fish. It's been a long time. Been a long That wood burns up fast, don't it? Fun. I guess it's fun. Soft wood. It's not a hard wood. Sandy said, Becca, have you seen the splash, splash blankets? What? What? What is that? Splash blankets. splash blankets. Becca said, I own the company at Fish in the Mid South. <laughs> Mid South said, Becca, I keep you in business. Like I said, only if we're talking about the same thing, Sandy Toes. <laughs> and Sal said, I'd like to get in your business. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I feel like I'm running. <laughs> I don't know what I'm running here. The splash is on mid cell said. <laughs> That's the 
the Memphis Splash. <laughs> what? The Memphis Splash. Memphis Splash. Oh, Lord. We have a Splash Country. Oh, I see. This. Number yeah, three was... Messing with it for a while. Splash Country. The Memphis Splash. How's your face feeling, Travis? It's burning. It's burning. It's gonna, the air's kind of cool out here. That's got to feel a little better. Sandy said you're either in the know or you're not. Gerald said, please splash. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Cray, cray. What about the toe splash? Oh, Lord. <laughs> that could go perfect for the fans only. <laughs> the toe splash? Get it? Really? I can't said, Cindy, please catch a fish. It's out of control. I know. <laughs> I know. We need to catch a fish. Tom, <laughs> Troy said, did I win yet? Hashtag date with Mid-South. <laughs> Mecca said, sorry, I had to step away. I had Anita Naylor <laughs> on the phone asking for requests. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy said, Sandy, we can't be talking about splash blankets with you asking Travis how his face feels. <laughs> <laughs> I was just putting, applying a little salve. He's sunburned. <laughs> Becky said, okay, I stop, I'll stop now. I got a million of those. <laughs> I said, some guys drink Mountain Dew, some prefer squirt. <laughs> Crap, y'all are crazy. <laughs> Drunk said, oh, wow, Mid-South. <laughs> like, do you prefer yellow or clear? <laughs> Ooh, no. No, Travis, no. <laughs> Jeez. Crap. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I gotta gas them up a little bit. But... <laughs> oh, God, I really need to catch a fish. <laughs> That fish is just sitting there bouncing that line. He's not going to take it. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe a turtle. Come on, fish. My chat is bored and ornery. Women are ornery. Women in my chat, I think, are more ornery than the men. Huh? I don't think they're that bored. Well, they're ornery. And ornery doesn't mean ornery in my chat. Yes, Mid South. There's a. <laughs> Gerald said, "Be right back. Need to get a drink." Lol. Stiff <laughs> drink. <laughs> I don't think he wants a stiff drink. He probably wants a squirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sell it. Um. There's something else that's funny about that when you read the label of a squirt drink. It is funny. Sandy said, fish don't want any part of this mess. <laughs> Otter Cat said, sunburned or too many duck peels. <laughs> oh, yay. I'm 
him drop it. Oh, crap. <clears throat> back. Oh. Reel down on him. I think we got a double. He said he's in that line. He's in that other line. Is he? Yeah, hang on a second. Don't come off, fish. Can you figure out where it's at? Just keep him tight. Don't worry about this. I'll deal with it in a second. Something weird going on here. Wrap it up. Maybe he ate both of them. Did he really? I don't know. <laughs> oh no, the other one's scalping. I think the other one's got a fish on it. Does it? I think so. Uh, well, I'm landing one. Barely. What's the crap? Yeah. There you go. Behave. Oh no. He's loading up on me. <laughs> we got fish. <laughs> There's not a fish on that one. He's got scar on his back. You better straighten that fish. Don't do it. We kind of got one in. <laughs> <laughs> Are they saying anything in chat? Oh, I'm sure they are. <laughs> it's all bad, probably. Oh, it says new comments, so I can't read it yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Do we want to put him back in? I guess if you want to keep him. Huh? Unless you want to keep him or something. I don't know. I don't have anything to give away either except stickers, but. He probably don't weigh over about four pounds. Three or four. Don't bite me. Stop it. Oh, he's going to bite you. He already is. Stop. Wait, go, go. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? I was going to put you back in. Now I'm tempted to move. Oh. He swam away with the attitude. Look what he did to my finger. <laughs> you like, you stuck me with that hook. I'm going to make you bleed. He's a turd. He's slimy. <laughs> Okay. How'd you like how I had the camera over that rock? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to knock them over. Hey, see if there's a can you see if there's a rag in the bottom of that? I put a rag in the bottom of that backpack. Man, he pinched my thumb. It's like thumping. That turd. It's soft in there. Oh, and that's my arm guard. That'll work. I don't like them. They make my arms itch. <sighs> Yay. 
Fishy fish. Okay. Squirting tequila. Sunburned her too many duck peels. That's funny. Troy said, I can't love your new video. Let me see how far back in my tramp said. I know what Mid South Blob doll's name. It's Betty Humpter. Betty Humpter. <laughs> Bounce. Sandy said, now that I can breathe and you all calm down, calm the beep down, Cindy catches a fish. <laughs> Cindy, don't fuck this up. <laughs> it says, there's your live bait. <laughs> That's a little bit big. No, that was a blue cat. Becky said, woohoo, a fish. Blurry camera. Was it? Skunk's gone. Mid South said, Did y'all see the Travis eclipse? I'm cleaning my. Uh, how was it hung? I'm cleaning the camera lens. Becky <laughs> <laughs> said, you the woman, girl. Uh -huh. Bad. We're behaving. We're adults sometimes. You can keep him and save him from drowning, LOL. Well. She doesn't want to keep it. She, she didn't know if she should release it. No, I wondered if uh, I should weigh it and y'all wanted to play a game, but Sandy said I'd give a zero ten for the dismount. Slimy turd. Man, I tell you what, I dropped his ass. It's what happened. This is where we go not to be adults, Jefferson said. Good night, Jerry. I don't know how long ago this is. Not Wait a minute. This is an adult. It isn't an adultery. Yes, it is. It sounds. Becca said you might just have to ask Mr. Max E. Pad if he has a rag. Just saying. Yeah, I don't care to rebate the hook and stuff, but I like for him to, he can throw real far. I like for him to throw it out. And... He can do with chat. Yeah, he sends me back over here to deal with the chat. He said Travis is a good man. Let Cindy catch him and he rebates the hook every time and sends it back out. <laughs> It's outside. Is it hung? You would know better than I would. <laughs> That's a little TMI about the decades since you saw it mid south. <laughs> you didn't even let you watch floor no more. Oh, I did get it. Well, thank you, Travis. Mm -hmm. I said thank you, Travis. Make it top the rock. No, we're gonna fix that. Hey, Wabash Nate. Good night, Uncle Don. Not rambling. Rambling, rambling, rambling. Daughter Cat said, want to play a game? Question mark. Want to play a game? Go back five minutes, Nate. It's our first fish. First one we landed, for sure. You get a flathead right to the bank. Yeah, we could see the flathead. He was all wound up in the... Uh, line and as soon as he managed to spin and unwind himself he sp sp spat that uh 
be scattered. The fish head out that he'd been chewing on and left. Mid-South said sometimes Travis even puts the fish on the hook, too. Yeah. You're not an m, &M Mid-South. You can't compete. Troy said Travis is awesome. He is awesome. He's a big one. He's the bestest. He's a big old flathead. Sandy said, no, Otter, you don't want to say my name pleasurably. I'm not playing with you. Becky said, doorbell, be right back. Somebody's knocking at the door. It's that guy with that bottle of wine. That's it. The kisser is a good kisser. No. No? No, remember the guy with the bottle of wine? He comes to the old lady's door and says, uh, well, She's telling the story. <laughs> Her daughter comes to comes over and says, "What's going on?" And the old lady says, "Man, there was a guy over here who said uh, if if I showed him my boobs, my boobs, uh, he'd give me a bottle of wine." And uh, the daughter says, well, "Which way did he go?" And uh, the old lady steps out of the door. And points one way, and she's got a bottle of wine in the other. <laughs> there you go. She got wine. <laughs> Becca said, okay, I'm back. It was Mr. Watson, your bush. Watson, your bush. I told him I didn't need any lawn work done. <laughs> Mr. Watson, your bush. mid -South said, doorbell at almost 11 p.m. Booty call. Oh, Lord, otter cat. Sandy. <laughs> I, I just have to read chat, huh? Mitzi, I said, I love a lush lawn. <laughs> Sandy said, she, she said, no water. <laughs> that, apparently, that didn't work for her, Otter Cat. Becca said, heaven help us all. <laughs> that said the lush lady garden. <laughs> they sent us a fish log. ago. What can you get more ass for? We did, I think it made it work. Oh, God. I know it. So much for the fish calming everybody down and getting it under control. Man, I tell you what. That stinking fish. I thought I was going to get away without getting bit. <laughs> he clamped down. I'm used to him skinning my fingers, but he was like, he mashed it. Sandy said, say my name. Say my name. <laughs> say my name. Say my name. Say my, what's my name? What's my name? Jefferson said, can't be any rules against a laugh, ha-ha. Uh -huh. Well, let's hope there's nothing in the bag that'll blow up. Oh, God. Troy said, I started a sticker board. I really need an AutoCAD sticker. Yeah, we all need AutoCAD sticker. I need to watch AutoCAD's content, too. Yeah, I heard something, too. If something blows up and scares me, I'm going to be mad. Becca probably has a thicket because every rose has its thorn. Potter Cat said, they are coming. That's a, kind of a bad thing to be saying around here, Otter. Not necessarily, but... Woo! Blaze! Blaze! Becca said, Mr. Mike, as long as you don't say you want to meet Mr. Philip McCrack. Philip <laughs> McCrack? <laughs> Philip McCrack. Mission Mid-South. She does have a million of them. <laughs> Sandy said, not Wilson 2.0, Becca. Look away from the screen. Hitch by Hitch said, I have an AutoCAD sticker, AA. He's always bragging about that AutoCAD sticker. Somebody better make some AutoCAD stickers up and somebody needs to send him a short 
to post on his. He needs content if we have to force him. Mitzel said, I'd rather fill up your crevice. That, are you going to be fill up your crevice? What? She uses it right like in a sentence. But Mitzel kind of flumps it. I'd rather fill up your crevice, he said. That's You got to use it like a name, Mitzel, back up. <laughs> he beat me. I can feel that fire from over here. I kind of really would like to move over next to it, but I can't. Here, PC, PC, PC. Uh oh. What? Jake said, I made some. Otter just doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jake has great stickers, too. Sandy said, Jake is turned to a sticker factory. And so I said, my real name is Hunter Snatchmaster. <laughs> 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 Becca said, well, you're going to have to introduce me to Mr. Neil Down for that to happen itself. <laughs> <laughs> Troy said, Otter Cat, you should order them through Modog. <laughs> Otter Cat said, should have never showed them ducks the other night, Cindy. This bunch is very impressionable. This this bunch was this way before I got to them. <laughs> and so I said, Becca Bendover wants to meet you. <laughs> yeah, that, I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> this crew was a mess. We just all happened to slowly get together in one place. Look at all that wood. <laughs> it's like it's sitting there waiting on you. All right, Gerald, thanks for coming in. Later, girl. And y'all, remember to go over and check out my community post. Becca said, I'm sorry, I've already set up Mr. Ben Dover with Miss. Hiscock? Hillscock? Fish in the Mid South. Back in the Mid South, have more friends than Debbie, little Debbie. <laughs> Becca said, okay, I'm really going to stop now. I don't want you to lose people out of here. <laughs> I think I've lost four in the past couple of minutes. <laughs> I thought you introduced Patrick Fitzgerald and Gerald Fitzpatrick. Mr. Rogers said she must have never <laughs> she must have never met Donkey Dick. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Mr. Rogers finally saw an opening and went for it. <laughs> 
hey, I got one. I'm, I got a joke in there. I'm funny. <laughs> He was waiting for the moment to dive in, and there he went. Becca said, well, Little Debbie is a yummy snack cake at Sandy Toes. Troy said, everyone loves the chat. I know Jefferson said, really, it should gain people needing a laugh. No, I think so. Mr. Rogers said, I just came back. He seized the opportunity. And where were you at, Mr. Rogers? <laughs> where and where were you? Did oh, your doorbell ring. Oh, your poor sunburnt face, Travis. Hmm. I said your poor sunburnt face. You see it. Oh my gosh. Mr. I said, Becca, the word of the day is legs. Spread the word. So many innuendos and out your windows. Just break them trees over there, Travis. <laughs> I think those are live trees, ain't they? Live trees. Oh, my God. Mid-South said, on the topic of Travis's beard, tell him to get that scruff down to Muff, down in Muff Town. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's got that big side limb. It's going to take out all the poles. <laughs> <laughs> About tree pity. <laughs> Did you hear him? He was talking to you. Who? Mid South. Hey, on the traffic on the topic of Travis's beard, tell him to get that scruff down in Muff Town, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Hitch right Hitch said Becca Mid South is related to Hugh Johns. Hugh Johns, if you'd like to meet him. Mr. Rogers said, Well, I was setting up a trap for raccoons, then I felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> Becca said, Y'all can't help it. My next door neighbor is I'm a hot horn dog, and he's a bad influence on me. <laughs> I'm a horn dog. He's got an odd name for a dude, I'm a Sandy said after the show me south, you missed that part of the sentence. Mr. Rogers said I'd hate for him to be trapped and cold. Aw, Mr. Rogers, you're a good guy. Troy said, I thought Mid South was a bad influence, Becca. Oh no. Mid South can't hold Sandy and Becca and not a lot to no. Mm -mm. They don't live here. They're ringleaders. I don't think he's seen them both in chat. In a chat. <laughs> All we need now is uh Who? Ashley? Yeah. We just need Ashley in here. I said she's a bad influence, LOL. <laughs> oh, okay. I just can't read, apparently. Sandy said, I'm losing my touch. Becca's holding the floor wheel without my input. Mansell said, Ashley is deflated for the night. <laughs> Mr. Rogers said, uh, Becca, you got any places for rent in the vicinity? Mr. 
Zed said, what the hell am I chopped liver? You you went quiet on us, Zed. Yeah, where's Liver? You're a bad influence and all, but you ha just haven't been consistent. <laughs> Whether it's good or bad. Oh, Mitzel said, anyone meet Buffy his cocks? You're reaching there, Mitzel. That's not as funny as Becca's. Do better, try again. Ah. Becca said, not right now. I rented the last place to huge, huge organ. <laughs> Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Mr. Huge organ. <laughs> Here it comes. The outflow. Huge organ. <laughs> It's, I said, Jack Mehoff is lonely. I used to have a, a store manager at Walmart that we, that was a, we called Jack Mehoff. Jake said, Mid South, how many do you have? What do you got to get it off that concrete? Got to get that hole in there. Oh, no. How many do you have and what are their names? How many dates with Becca? Clearly, the answer will always be never enough. What? No. -uh. Adventure America said Mid South is lonely. I'm back from fishing, caught five white bass. Awesome. Shoreline. What? Bait. White bass. Yeah, bait. Sandwich too. I think Jake is asking Mid South how many blow ups Ashley C has. Nice work, Shores. If you don't have enough, I know somebody that specializes in those dolls. He never comes in my chats, but I can send you his way. John, the guy, remember? Oh. The blow up, blow up dog guy. Oh, John, Wiggs, Wiggy, 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 Wiggs. Ain't seen her in forever. One for every day. Uh, yes, Wiggs, Wiggy, Wiggy, Wiggs. Remember, we used to give him hell about being a blow-up doll salesman. <laughs> I never see him, though. Mids, I said one, but cases and cases of duct tape. <laughs> and wigs. Sandy said, Wiggs is Mid South's mentor. Mid South said, mentor, mentor or mental? Mid Becca said, I'm sorry, Mr. Mike. I'm currently seeing Mr. Oliver and Pool Nipple. Oliver Nipple. <laughs> but he's starting to kind of grow, bore me now. <laughs>
I sit on this rock so long that when I do have to get up, I'm about to have crippled. <laughs> I said I'm a sucker for nipple. <laughs> nipple. <laughs> But it's it's name is Oliver in South. It's just wrong. All right. Whatever floats your boat. Sandy said, right, scallywags. I'm tapping. Be good at it. And stay safe. Becca said, well, I can introduce you to him now. <laughs> LOL. And so I said, I'm clearly telling the truth. Night, Sandy. Night, Sandy. Good morning. Whatever it may be. Good day. Good day, Mike. <laughs> Good day. It's morning in her, her neck of the woods. Uh-oh. Is that you? Hmm? What is it? Why is that coming back up in the towel? Mm -hmm. Did you sew it down there? It's a. Not, not, Miss Sandy, sleep well. Sweet dreams. Ain't, taint no reason to lie, Mid South said. Sweet dreams of Mid South. <laughs> That catfish is coming to get you. You gonna walk around a second.
It's such a wild one. Huh? It's such a wild one, isn't it? Uh -huh. I thought somebody was put some rocks up on top of it. Oh, I said kids down here. Shining light. Here, Travis, pulling that clicker, messing with my motions. We're done, I think. <laughs> Becca said, bye bye, Rob Hole. Mm -hmm. I said, Travis. It's putting a fish on that rod because so Cindy can reel it in. Nope. Yeah, that's like it's probably on the other side of the road right now. We should have a karaoke live, Troy said. Oh, yeah. A fishing karaoke? Yeah. I'm so glad I wasn't singing that song during this live. Come <laughs> MST 3000. I don't know what that is. Her shadows give me MST 3000 vibes. I had to get up on the ground for a minute. That this rock had me, had my butt broke. He said he's driving home. How, how'd y'all do? Becca said, I've already got you. Remember, I was your two million sub yesterday at Shining Live Vision. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I reserve. Baby's got her blue jeans on to see Becca. You get your, you didn't forget your rods, did you? Did you get your rods, Anthony? Zed said, thanks for hitting, letting me hang out tonight, Cindy. Anytime. He said decent. Mm. He said decent. And you did get your rods? Yeah, he got them. Okay. No, the girl can't help it. On the main street. Everybody's in as she goes by. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see how red Travis's face is on that boat yesterday? He got sunburned. He has been glowing all day. In my own little world now. Have a good night. All right, Zed. Thanks for coming in and hanging out. We're we'll only let you come in and hang out. Well, thank you for doing it. That's <laughs> right.
Lords of Other Divinities. That is your song itself. Becca said, Ugh, now I'm singing that song, LOL. I hate when they do that. They throw a song up in <laughs> chat. I'm like, oh, Lord have mercy. Baby's got her blue jeans on. <laughs> Anthony said, I used to wish I could sing. I know all the words to the songs, all of them. I wish I could sing. It'd be nice to know all the words and be able to sing. <laughs> Do you still have that uh, straw in your glove box there, Becca? No, oh, Lord. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When the girl walks in with a little bitty waist that and in your face, you get strong. <laughs> he said, now I wish you could sing. <laughs> I used to wish I could sing. He said, now I wish you could sing. Well, me too. And I'll study on that. I'll overthink it and be like, I shouldn't sing on my life. So I don't know why I do that. <laughs> You'll never hear me sing again. Zed said, no, she hit it. Not all. <laughs> Good night, Zed. Yippers, I still have that straw. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of am anxious to see that his latest fire ant or ant sculpture. And then pop look like crazy. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the kind of straw that has the accordion type thing so it extends longer. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's pretty fitting. We get a, uh, listen, we get the fish, a fire, and fireworks. I'm about to get, them embers are about to get, come over here. I mean, it really does sound like the 4th of July. I want to hold her behind closed doors. So when we get behind. Stop making me sing, Mid-South. It's not good. Hey, Steve Walk, what's up? He said, hey, Cindy and Travis. Hey, where are you going, Steve? I want to hold her, but she won't let me. It's a kind of, yeah. I went back. Nobody's saying much. I thought I got behind, and I didn't even. Didn't even get behind. If I said she had me before, she'd hold it. It's me. If I swore you were an angel, would you treat me? Oh, stop it, me itself. I'm highly susceptible to that. Yeah. I can sing the hokey pokey. Troy said, Cindy and Travis is fishing and Mid-South is fishing. He's always fishing. <laughs> if I was down at this, would you blow up from Queen Jay said, trolling. Becca said, I've got that short on my channel too, Mr. Mike. She said, I had a beautiful body at Fish in the Mid-South. <laughs> It's 
twelve twenty two and he's got to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Anthony, and he's driving on to North Carolina. He's as bad as I am. I know other people that do that, but they're usually younger. Anthony loves the fishing now. Yep. I've lost a lot of sleep doing it. <laughs> fishing is live. Troy said Mid South is good at trolling. He sure is. It's what he does. Jake said, man, you got to stay up late. <laughs> Anthony said, yes, I am young. <laughs> man, I, I, it didn't hurt me as bad when I was younger. To stay up like that. It hurts me now, but I do it anyway. Yes, Anthony, you're young. I tell you, you're young because I've never seen anybody throw the cast net that many times mm -hmm. and still be able to function the next day. Do you know that don't have a sinker on it? Yeah. I don't think it does. Did you take it off? Oh, that's the one that was in the, yeah, you would have taken it off. Never mind. I'm, I'm awake. I'm aware. Um, Jake, I do wake up at 4.30, but not in tomorrow. I took tomorrow off to watch that eclipse. And because I had to work Saturday, I was getting my two days off this week. There may come a time when I don't get my two days off. I worked 58 hours last week. You can't fire yourself. Oh, you work for yourself. Okay. Well, that's very fortunate. I'm envious of you. That's how I said, Becca, on a scale of 1 to 100, for 1 is hell no, and 1 100 is still hell no. What are my chances of dating you? <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of times I'm out till like I don't get home till midnight close to one o'clock and I have to get up at four four thirty ish four thirty four forty and go to work and work ten hours I won't go to sleep even when I'm not fishing like Wednesday nights are rough because I, I usually don't get in bed because when I get home I still got stuff to do but um I usually don't get in bed till 12.30 or 1 o'clock, and I got to get up and go to work the next day. Um, but on normal nights when I'm not fishing, I still don't go to sleep till about 11, maybe 11.30, and get up at 4.40. So by the time the weekend rolls around, I get up here, and Friday nights are usually a bust. <laughs> it's disco time. I, I, like last night, I think I, I, when we go back to the house, I wasn't awake all that much, all that long, and I slept till almost eleven o'clock this morning. Slept about ten hours. <laughs> Troy said, "Why don't you ask me mid south?" Becca said, "Are we including fractions in that mid south?" Mid south said, "Troy, you're easy. You're not enough of a challenge, Troy." You don't play hard to get. Fishing Hoosier said, I just got back. Any fish call? I did. I caught a blue cat. I actually managed to land this one. I've hooked two other ones. Got one part of the wind. One all the way, a flat hat, little flathead into the bank. But that one, I actually got a pair. Mid-South plays hard to get, Troy said. Oh. <laughs> Jake said, who's your seven? He always answers seven after I tell the truth. Or maybe before I tell the truth, I just don't see it till after. And seven is always the number. That's a good number, though. I'm going to start saying seven. The last time we called seven, I think, was uh, when we went out to that island that night. 
Mid South said I sent Becca my number and she sent me a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> Hoosier said, seven, damn, I got to skip to what I missed. Otter said, they were huge. <laughs> they do that every time. One of them said, seven, and the other said, they were huge. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Hoosier <laughs> said, oh, I see people are yanking my chain. Keep it up, almost there. <laughs> Yeah, every time they get me too, I, I'll be like, I tell the truth about what we call it, and chat just lies. <laughs> They're crazy. And it's always like the same ones. They were huge. <laughs> Trophies. I should have. Turn the sturgeon into the TWRA. I might still. If I can remember what weekend it was, I caught it. I think they want to know the date. It doesn't take much chain yanking since I'm a one pump chump anyway. Oh my gosh. You mean fishing? Oh. <coughs> fishing the Mid South? Hitch by Hitch said that was like 10 days ago. It was a while. You should call him and see what he ended up getting. Ooh. Anthony. Call him and see what? What they ended up catching. Maybe not, though. It was dragon. Yeah. I wonder what that one was that the, when they were on the phone. Was it? Now I'm jealous. Otter Kit said, Travis, we need more wood. <laughs> throw the wood to it. Here's <laughs> your said, new carpet being installed on the boat tomorrow. I'll be able to get some video of pre spawn and spawn crappie and woo hoosier. <laughs> woo hoosier. That's what he said. <laughs> woo hoosier. Tony said, me? <laughs> Becca said, I'm sorry. I'm still seeing baby's got her blue jeans on. Started saying off just to make it different. <laughs> 35 pounds, good night. Dang it. I mean, congratulations. But dang it. Here I am not catching nothing. Uh-oh. That's, that's battery number two. We got one more battery, y'all. Then we end the dawn. Troy said, I told myself I would not pick on Mid-South tonight. I retract my last statement. Dang it. I need a 35-pound fish in my life. Travis is still going to call it a dink, but I want one. <laughs> I'm starting to think the fish don't like me. They don't want to come see me, even though I throw them back. They're not like a lot of people today and yesterday. Fishing Hoosier said the entire country has closed for tomorrow, and all the eclipse watchers, banks, government, libraries, etc., all closed. I, I wish I would have got some glasses today. They said they had them at like Walgreens and stuff. I need Eclipse glasses. Yeah. 
Mid South, if we need to pray for your hand, it's too late. LOL. Mm -hmm. Are you doing that? What? Moving that line. That current. Rebecca said, I got some spare batteries, Miss Cindy. I need them for this line. Good night, folks. I'm headed to bed alone. Pray for my hand. <laughs> Thirty five pounds. Ugh. I haven't caught anything 35 pounds since that night we were on the boat, boat with uh, Jacob. With who? Jacob, remember that blue? And then you caught one? Yeah. It makes, the, it, makes it hard to sit on these uncomfortable rocks. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Cindy. But actually, that little flathead made me happy. And the blue. But seeing little flathead, I just wish he'd let me hold him. <laughs> Jefferson said, well, better things work way better for ladies. So the hand is hard to beat for fellas. Lord have mercy. It's a, I'm sitting on a rock, Becca. Sitting on something hard. It's killing me. My butt bones are going to be sore. <laughs> Look at that bobber going back out through there. <laughs> Did you click it on now it's going back out through there. <laughs> what is it? And just now came back out here where we could see it. That moves a lot of water. That Becca said, "Oh, I thought you said rod." <laughs> I know, Becca, that you don't fish a whole lot, but you don't sit on it. Not that one. Hitch by hitch. I can't tell what kind of emoji that is. I can't see. Is it a sad face? Everyone would have to have a bob. I think it's sad that we can't catch a bluegill. They better do better this summer. Oh, he's got his hands in front of his eyes. He's peeking through his eyes. I think it's funny. The fire, the fire dies down and the chat yells at you. <laughs> Travis! So, when we decided to come down here, I was like, you know, well, before we were deciding to come down here, I said, I kind of like to have a fire, but I want to go fish at the culvert. And I was going to exchange the fire for coming and fishing down here. Don't have to have both. But he brought that box of wood anyway. And here we have the fire. 
26 folks in here and only like five of us are chatting. What the other 21 folks must think? I can't even imagine. I think a lot of people do fall asleep with the lives on. Otter Cat said, everybody have a good and it's bedtime. Good night, Otter Cat. Okay. I'll be watching for your content. Hitch by Hitch said, those are big rods. Hard to look. <laughs> Fish and Hoosier said, Beck has been thinking about rods too much. She meant he's peeking through his hands. <laughs> Yeah, and I wonder, I mean, yeah, sometimes. Uh oh, no bait. Jake said, Becca, I was thinking the same thing like 29 minutes ago. What? About what the other people might think. I mean, I think about that a lot. I really do. Huh? Yeah. It is what it is. We're adults and it's, you know. Mm -hmm. Mr. Rogers said, I got y'all on the big screen and this other fellow on the phone. Oh, are you talking about JBT? He's live. And I'm watching my numbers to see how fast they fall. <laughs> Vega said they wouldn't stay, though, if they didn't like it. Yeah. A lot of it's just innuendo and good-natured, like... We're just messing. <laughs> Cutting up. Who just said when you put yourself on YouTube, it's important not to care what people think? Oh, it doesn't bother me that way. I just wonder what they think, literally. <laughs> I didn't say I felt bad. <laughs> hey. And come out of the woodwork and say say words. Most people though they'll get on food. I know a few people that actually get on food. The what? They just get on and watch. Oh yeah, they put it up on TV and they can't they don't have the chat. Yeah. <laughs> All the people in here know we're joking yeah. It's a lot worse to watch the news. So whatever Jake said, right? We have fun. What actually gets me is you actually get a channel that oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Yeah. Especially at, at, at night time and stuff like that. Yeah, internet. internet. Internet, yeah. I, I'm a, one of them people, though. I mean, I mean, as long as you're not picking on, like, good nature ribbons, as long as you're not being, like, mean. mean or fighting in here, I'm okay with what you're talking about. Mr. Rogers said, I got a system, LOL. Yeah, did he say he had a system? Becca, he a system, yeah. About what he watches, I guess. Becca said, I'm not afraid to be myself as long as the owner doesn't mind. If not, then I'm an angel. Oh, yeah. If I'm in a channel, if I'm in a channel, I will re always respect the channel. Yeah. Becca's always an angel. Yeah. <laughs> She's always a good girl. But, uh, yeah. I I'm going to respect the channel and the person. When I was on uh, Anthony's boat yesterday, I respect him and what he does. Put that in the fire, yeah. Wow. Pull back this way. I don't know how they do that. <laughs> it looks like it's got blood on it. Look. 
dread. But um, yeah, if people don't like the way we cut up and talk and stuff, they do not have to frequent my channel. They're uh. Becca said, that's why my channel, the intro video plays a little verse. There's a little bit of angel in those devil eyes. A little bit of heaven with a wild side, dribble heart, a country mile wide. Jake said, if you're using a desktop, you can see everyone that's in the chat. Yep. I actually think a lot of people come in and uh, think that cutting up and stuff is funny, but they don't really want nobody to see them enjoying it. <laughs> hey, uh, wait, can you uh, hand me the charger for this thing? Jake said, sorry, everyone that's watching now. Nobody's watching you. <laughs> How much angel can there be when you're using a name like Mud Tramp? <laughs> she is Mud Tramp. <laughs> she likes to get out in the mud and tramp around. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. Becca said, Mud Tramp is a whole nother story. And so I said, how long are you going to fish for tonight? Oh, I don't know. Feels pretty good out here. It's not cold. No. Um, well, you better check the we gotta, battery. The battery is the issue. Yeah, we're going to run out of light. And it's got three bars on it right now. But we probably got a, maybe another hour on the battery. Press, I think most people enjoy that you can joke with each other and not be so serious, and we all respect each other if we need to stop. Oh, yeah. That's the thing about my channel. You can come in and be yourself and, and joke around and just relax and laugh. What do I have? Grass or something. You've been laying on your back in the grass. Have a. What happened? I'm not bug trying to get you to drink my energy drink. <laughs> what is on my back? Looks like you've been laying in the hay or something. What's been doing? Did I throw it down? Huh? Did I have my jacket thrown down somewhere yesterday? I don't know. Well, knock it off. Knock it off. What? Knock what off? The grass. Oh, in my hair? When you're back and in your hair. And... It's grass? Yeah. I don't know. I must have thrown my jacket down somewhere yesterday. I don't think I have tonight. I think I've had it on. I don't know. Hey, just said no far, no one so far, no one is keyboard raging a, a step ahead of the road ragers. What? Keyboard raging. Yeah, yeah. Now that's one thing that we don't put up with is any any shenanigan bullcrap in here. If somebody comes in trolling, you know that's what people have wrenches for. Do get rid of them now. If you're not sure if somebody's coming in 
and saying, you know, usually they won't have a wrench. If you're not sure if the person's acting like they know me, then ask. Because I think Billy about you did. Oh, about <laughs> he about zapped my brother the first time my brother came in a chat. Because <laughs> he said something that is like, I don't know, personal to me or something. And Travis was like. <laughs> A lot of time I keep your live plan when I'm busy working or doing something else, Hitch said. Yeah. Keyboard warriors, they, they got to go before they get their tires flattened. Hell oh. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, we don't deal with that in here. Not, and then if anybody starts fighting with somebody else, then I ask them to leave and go do that somewhere else. Or... Um, do not hide anybody on my channel. You can hide them from yourself or whatever. Block them. But because you think they're bad for my channel, that's only been an issue a time or two, and now it's not happened in my channel, so. Becca said, I'm on that, and you can't see it. There are 21 folks watching. You can see that on the six that are chatting in that list. Oh, okay. Respect is the main thing, Jefferson said. Yep. Yeah. If anybody comes in saying anything stupid and Travis gets them. Now we always have a good time in here. We were we fished one time downtown and uh hunting and stuff was in here that night. Who else? Mm -hmm. That's the night Mo Dog and Mrs. Mo Dog was in my life and hunting and stuff. When we finally ended up at downtown at three o'clock, we finally caught a fish. Remember that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that little log was getting about. Yes, yeah, it was, it was uh, three o'clock in the morning. We, we had finally went to downtown Knoxville and caught a fish. I was thinking that was everyone in the live. Thanks, Becca. Hoosier said, Well, Becca has been sexually harassing me. Oh, well, <laughs> I think you can handle it. I think you liked it. Yep. Buck, back of my trap said, thanks. Now I got Carrie Underwood before he cheats stuck in my head. I dug my key into the side. Yeah. I dug my key into the side of this pretty little suit. Yep. Carved my name into his leather suit. That's a good song. <laughs> Jake said if we could only get everyone to say hi that what well, that's watching right now. I'm so curious. Fishing who just said, hey, I resemble that remark. That's how rumors get started. <laughs> Troy said, I think a lot of the people have left because it is midnight. Yeah, it's get, getting later. You got a crew of them that... Well, it's Sunday night. I mean... Yeah. I'm sure a lot of them probably went to sleep. I think I, the most people I noticed in here earlier was 33. But I've had lives. Though. It's My Wednesday night lives are usually a little bit more populated. But what I had fifty two, I think it said fifty when I went and looked on analytics. But I saw fifty two, huh? I saw that on line three or rod three, line three. A rumor like that can make your popularity soar. I don't, I don't think Becca needs any help. <laughs> Her popularity is pretty up there anyway. I don't want to be popular. I just want to be me. She said. Jefferson said, I wouldn't cheat anyway, but that song makes you think. 
<laughs> Jake said your thousand giveaway it was was crazy. <laughs> it was. Those giveaway shows are fun. I mean, I'd like to do another one. But I've been working so many hours at work because they are a little bit of of a job to do. You have to get the stuff together and then you got to try to and those those lives. If you've got more than just a few things to give away, it lasts forever. Let's do one. You want to do a giveaway? I need to get a few things together. I've got stickers. I've got plenty of stickers to make sticker packs. Well, not plenty. But I've got some stickers to make sticker packs. But I don't have much else, other stuff to give away. I've been looking at, you know, fishing lures and stuff like that. Because a lot of my people are not catfisher people. But since we are, that's probably what the most thing that we're going to give away. But I've been looking for some like bass lures and stuff like that. Kind of on sale. I've been trying to gather up some stuff to do one. I said I was going to do one at 15,000 subscribers. And now I've got like 15,000. What is it? 500 almost? Or is it 15,500 now? Troy said being tough is the most important thing. Being what? Being tough. tough. Yeah. That's easy. That song reminds me of my first wife. She took a key down the side of my camera right in front of me. Camaro. Wow. <laughs> Camaro. Yeah, that would have been. Wasn't there like 60 people in there? You know, there might have been. I know there was at least 50. On that thousand? Yeah. Once word gets out of a giveaway, it fills up pretty quick. And I don't think on the 500 one, I don't think I had it subscribers only mode, but I might have on the thousand. Just do it on subscribers only mode, and they have to at least be on there for. They have to subscribe. subscribe for yeah. like five minutes or something. At least. Andy, you're about to get out there and burn up some crappie. I caught 20 smaller ones up near the bank of Otterbury last week. It was fun. That thousand subscriber giveaway. It is fun to have them. It was a 500 one where I was doing a really long hashtag, though, wasn't it? I had Sandy yeah, all tore up. <laughs> she was writing everything down. <laughs> it was so much fun, I could not. Becca said, I hosted a giveaway on my channel for Mr. Scott and Miss, Miss Joy that lasted over six hours. Dang. 15,500, okay. So, yeah, I said when I it turned 15,000, I was going to do a giveaway. Then they started really chunking the hours on me at work, and I hadn't done it yet. So... If I do the 15,000 subscriber giveaway, I may have to do it on like a Sunday midday. I don't know. I'd, I'd do it on a Saturday. Well, I mean, I'd have to do it. That's if I don't work. Well, that's true. But if you do it on a Saturday midday, then we can go fishing afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, we love Scott and Joy. I thought about having a giveaway with my fishing Hoosier t-shirts, but the shipping would kill me. Yeah, if you can get them in a, well, they weigh them. What? They weigh them. Even the little things that I have to put in a, in a like a small envelope, like a padded envelope or whatever. Yeah, it's like five bucks. Minimum is $5.15. So, whoa. First rod, first rod. Which I don't mind some shipping, but if you give away a lot of stuff. You know what? I try not to knock over the camera. Be a good idea. <laughs> Maybe laid it down, but hang on a second. See what he's doing. He might have been bringing it to you to your flight. Hmm. Good. See what he's doing.
<laughs> Do I get more? <laughs> My boogie is getting hot. Are you changing your mind? That was that bluegill. Yeah. Leave it alone. That was that bluegill, too. Hmm. There he goes back. Put it on the clicker. Okay. Now I still got babies got blue jeans on it in my head. <laughs> No, oh, I really need to stand up more often. That makes sure I can't walk when I need to. <sighs> Subscriber only mode on YouTube. Surely it is. Yeah. Whenever I set up the live, I don't know if I turned it on tonight. Can you go in and turn on? I think any uh, moderator can turn on subscriber mode if you touch the little wheel. If you didn't give away too many of them, Hoosier, if you give away like one or two t shirts, it shouldn't cost you too much. And then give away sticker packs and stuff. Sticker packs are a good choice because you can do send them off for a uh, the price of a stamp. gift cards if you can get people to donate a gift card or if you can just purchase a gift card you can e-do those so they're a good choice for a giveaway you can electronically get, do gift cards and if people donate things then you can have them send it from their place which is really nice of them to do Hey, David Smith, what's up? How are you doing? Shipping is high anymore. Only on a live. Subscriber only mode. I would think that you would only want to do subscribers only mode on a live. I wanted to give away 50 shirts. The shipping would run me 500 bucks. Yeah. That's when you have to stretch it out. You don't want to do that <laughs> in one live. When you do it in a series of lives. A lot of bike coming in here. This stuff said warming your buns. Got any hot dogs? <laughs> we, I know we did that on the. We was going to eat stuff. Yeah, we did. Did the. Uh, we went to Harrison's. We got grilled hot dogs. A couple of lives ago. Yeah. Boy, they're good. I tell you what, way better than if you try to fix them at home. Wow, cool. The yakety yaks and. The night we went to fish with the yak shores, we made s'mores and hot dogs. Hoosier said, I took my six-year-old granddaughter fishing recently, and she reeled in 20 crappie. Afterwards, she demanded that I get her a Little Miss Hoosier fishing her t-shirt. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's awesome. Hey, Pond Stars. We've caught one and... Hooked two more that didn't quite get landed, but let the flathead go at the bank. I did let the flathead go at the bank. It hurt my heart. The only channel owner, only the channel owner can do that. They have to have access to your YouTube studio, which means they have total access to your no. Did you open a chat? No what? Did you open this chat? Did I open it? I I I, it may be, I'm a managing moderator on Tony's, but I, I turn his subscriber mode only all the time. Subscriber only 
I didn't mean to do that open chat. <laughs> Did you open this live? On your phone? I went into it, yeah. Can you turn on the subscribers only mode? I did. Oh, I didn't see it pop up on the screen. <laughs> Hello, Pawn Star. <laughs> the fishing hunter said they caught seven huge ones. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said they were huge. <laughs> <laughs> And they did it again. I told the truth. <laughs> They're killing me. Maybe one of these days I'll be, I won't mess it up by telling the truth. I got to quit telling the truth. <laughs> and the stuff said you have to be high enough up as a moderator. To do a subscribers only mode. What was that? Yeah, it sounds like they throw a rock in the water. Mm -hmm. For being over here. They always said when a beaver can slap that tail and make it sound like somebody threw a rock in the water. You have to be high enough up as a moderator to do subscriber only mode. Yeah, I'm a managing moderator on Tony's. So I guess that's why I can do it. But I'll go in there and uh, turn his subscriber mode only mode on. So one time somebody was like, who did that? They thought somebody was messing with his channel. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it was me. <laughs> he just uh, said I had coffee mugs made, but they were all gone in a couple of weeks. Yeah, the only merchandise I have are t-shirts that you can order from John uh, Parker's. No. What is wrong with me? Mm. John. Yeah, John Parker. Oh, it is John Parker. <laughs> I get tired of guess. John Parker's uh, Teespring website. Only little smokies hunting and stuff. When you get somebody that says Cindy's After Dark. Cindy's After Dark t-shirts. Mr. Rogers said, get her that shirt. <laughs> I caught seven. They were huge. Hey, Grumpy. What are you doing, Grumpy? I got her key lanyard made. The t-shirt will be made soon. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Stuff said, I believe that each. Grumpy said, boing, 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 boing. <laughs> <laughs> Troy said, we are working on getting some stickers made. We'll send Cindy some for her giveaways when we get them. Awesome. I'll go ahead and plan a 15,000 subscriber giveaway because they really are a lot of fun. People come in and everybody talks. Yeah, it's fun. I appreciate that, Troy. It'll be real. <laughs> if I do it when she she's up and participate, <laughs> get them on the, getting them up on the panel. Hitch by Hitch said, "Hey, Grumpy, you missed it. They got seven so far. They were huge. I said they were huge. Ah." There's a mouse. <laughs> it scared me. What do you got? He's right there. You see where them rocks come right down at the crack between that bigger rock and the smaller rock? He's going up to you. Oh, is he? Watch him run across my shoe. He's coming up to me. Huh? You probably want some of my energy drink. It's gone, buddy. The hoodies are cool. We looked at... Travis actually looked at some. It was a cool hoodie. Yeah. They were like multicolored. They sort of looked tie-dyed, kind of. 
And I could get Skip Jack Cindy's Outdoor Adventures or whatever put on it. And then like my name put on the back of it. I paid decent money for the artwork work. I wanted to use it. That's cool. Grumpy said seven. Cool. I can't do it, y'all. Tell him. <laughs> You're lying to you, Grumpy. They are lying, Grumpy. They've been doing it every time anybody comes in after I tell the truth. Hoosier said it might be fun to start collecting YouTube fishing channel stickers. Man, you guys should see my chat and my boards. I have two great big boards. It talks about something about me making memories or, or something to saying on it. And then I have a smaller little blackboard that I've got them on. So, yeah. And they're about three quarters of the way full. I think it's fun. It's a, who knew that this late in life that stickers would become a thing again. That mouse is baked. That's what the Hoosier said. Hitch right Hitch said, you got an owl, Cindy. Seven and huge. That mouse will be number eight, Hoosier said. <laughs> mm. stuff said, maybe it'll run up your pants leg like that Ray Stevens song with the squirrel. <laughs> Becca? Are you still in here? Remember that song? <laughs> the day the squirrel went to berserk in the first self-righteous church. Hey, you got stuff all over your back, too. Are you sure it wasn't uh, uh, ash that was on my back? Mm -hmm. In that sleepy little town of Tastagula, it was a fight for survival. <laughs> That broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting hallelujah. You know, that that song is great because it says 18 deacons and the pastor got saved and $24,000 got raised and 50 volunteered for missions in the Congo on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> that song kills me. It's so funny. Stickers are always cool no matter what age, no matter the age. Grumpy said because they lied. I did land one and I almost landed two more. Grumpy said, Hallelujah. They mean, Grumpy, they mean. Hitch by Hitch said, Okay, Cindy and Travis, that's all I can do on a work day. Thanks for good times, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you so much, Jake, for coming in. Bye, Jake. It's always a good time. Always good to have you in chat. You know, I, I'm real tickled about all the members I have that are active in the chat. It's cool. <laughs> Sorry, hunting stuff. He said, I wasn't expecting to hear you sing it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know the rest of the song. <laughs> that was just a brief. Me and my good buddy Hugh. Hugh. Hugh was its good buddy. He put that squirrel in an old shoebox, and Sunday morning I took him off to church. <laughs> yeah, he was showing him to his good buddy Hugh. When that squirrel got loose and went totally berserk. <laughs> mm 
really grumpy? He said, I got my first troll disappointed that it was a nice troll. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get a nice troll? If they were a troll, how are they, how are they nice? Troy said, we started a sticker board with some of the best stickers. Skip Jack City, no BS catfishing. <laughs> I get uh, crappy comments on my shorts and stuff all the time, but I've actually had trolls in chat. Grumpy said, this is the easiest channel I've hit. Do not notify me on this channel. On this cha my channel? <laughs> no, he's talking about his troll, I think. Oh. Troy said, I've had a couple of trolls, but unfortunately, they don't stick around. I don't know the troll. Yeah. Most of our trolls have been, I think it's probably kids, but they have new channels or channels that don't have anything on them. They probably keep them just for trolling. <laughs> he said, no, the troll. I was like, why, Grumpy? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No, they don't like getting trolled. I had that troll that come up on panel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drop your link in chat again. Yeah. I know better than to drop my link in chat, but then he popped up and I was like, well, I don't really know this person, but, you know, he had all his clothes on and I was like, well, maybe he wants to say something. If he did want to say something. He just said, bye, I get trolls that they want to talk smack about the size of the fish I catch. I go to their channel and watch all, all zero of their videos. Yep. <laughs> I'd be tempted to troll the troll until I could dox them. Yep. Yeah. I've got some real pretty ugly comments on stuff like that. And if Travis sees them, he'd delete them. I've got some ones that were not, not real nice lately, but I just, I've left them. They weren't at least personal. It's when they get personal that I don't like to leave them up there. Trolls, uh, Troy said uh, uh, to be nice to the trolls and they don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, kind of stumped them a little bit there. So not so. Becca said, I'm going to run Miss Cindy. I tried lifting a piano last night by myself, pulled muscles in back, then tripped over the box, fell, hit my head, and sore. Need to lay down. It's been a hard, long day. Dang, Becca. Why didn't you start off with that tonight? <laughs> that sounds like one of my days. I just go around trying not to hurt myself. And don't try to lift it. Why did she try to lift a piano, piano by herself? I don't know. Talk about Becca. Right. The fishing hooser said, now I do get threats on occasion from local anglers that feel like my videos are somehow taking their fish. Taking their fish? Yep. Grumpy said, it's another counter on the counter. Good night, Becca. Thank you for coming in and night, making chat better. Better, better. Oh, God. 
Hoosier said Becca's new name Becca's new name is Becca Heat Pack. <laughs> Becca Heat and Bad. Uh oh. There we go. Becca Ice Pack. Toodles. Later, Gator. <laughs> Mr. Rogers said, Good night, Becca. Make sure your blinds are shut. Mid South is unaccounted for. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, unaccounted for. Man. What was he getting messed with? I just get. Every once in a while, the thought goes through my head that I gotta go back to work. <laughs> I hate it so bad. Not work in general, just that job. <laughs> That's funny. That really is funny, huh? Mid South is unaccounted for. Mid South couldn't hang no more. You had to go to bed. Woohoo! I've got different music tracks and I haven't had any adverse revol results trying different music tracks. Cool. I've tried a few uh, different sounds than what I'd, that sound I've been using and I just can't handle not getting subs. <laughs> I'm addicted to getting subs. <laughs> It's like, what am I doing this for? <laughs> Mr. Rogers said that fresh bait's about to get it. He always has the, the best attitude about the, the fish coming in and biting. Mr. Rogers always like, they're going to come. Well, you know, we hadn't caught, when I caught that 50 pounder, we, we hadn't caught many fish that night. No, I think we only caught that 50 pounder a little more. And one more yet, too, all night. And that was epic. Fishing Hoosier said, all right, I'm off to bed. Tight lines and fair fishing. You have a good one. And Troy said, I think I'm starting to get. And he left his hand. Maybe he went to sleep. Mm. <laughs> Troy said, I'm starting to, I think I'm starting to get. And then he just stopped. I said, I think he may have fell asleep mid-sentence. <laughs> said, I think I'm starting to get sleepy. He didn't say it though. He didn't get sleepy though. He went sleepy. He said, I think I'm starting to get. <laughs> Troy said, I think Mid South is. Oh, yeah. He said, I think Mid South is starting to warm up to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's getting used to you. <laughs> I think persistence, you know, persistence pays off. We're going to have to get us some swim bait. <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch fish that way. Wear him down, Troy. Wear him down. <laughs> Sounds weird. <laughs> Wear him down. Where'd that little mouse go? No, probably in your pocket. Oh, I should. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. You know, I'm not real afraid of rodents, but I definitely wouldn't want him in my pocket. Into the house. It's like no. It's like a uh, snakes. I'm not real afraid of them, but I don't want to curl up next to one.
Mm. <laughs> 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 Real bad right there. The peak of that bone is on this pyramid type part of this rock. <laughs> I think Mitzel is starting to warm up to me. That's funny. You know, after a while, you just get the first like, okay. <laughs> Picking up little bitty sticks. There won't be a little bitty stick within four miles of here. Oh, that is a uh, piece of metal. metal. <laughs> Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Get off the rock. I thought I had a piece of fish in mine. I was pulling out of there. That's an unflop. Stick. It's a little snake stick. Look. Looks like one, don't it? How many bars is left on that? Good. We're still doing okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is flopping out there, but. Walking, huh? I've got a little bacon. Oh, that's hot. Mm. Hot. The board's laying there. Oh. Ow. <laughs> What are you doing? Burn myself. I'm burning myself. What's it look like? Light it up. up, up. Not it up, up, up. You don't smell like the campfire. I don't know if we'll make it out to do any eclipse fishing or not. I said, I don't know if we'll make it out to do any eclipse fishing or not. Huh? Clips fishing. I kind of want to wake up to see it, but I mean, it's going to be afternoon, I think, here.
I can't make that one stick stay in the fire for nothing. That. Oh, maybe it'll stay in. Here. Can't stand up for the damn either. Get the flame far enough. Scorch my hair off instead. Let's watch out. I'll be a blaze. <laughs> that there's a magic stick. It's funny, I don't think Mid-South knows how to take my sense of humor, but that at the same time, I actually enjoy talking to him and nice to him. So it's a strange situation for him. I think we're the only ones left, Mr. Rogers, Troy said. Mr. Rogers said, 19 of us and her. He said that when a person left. There's 18 now. <laughs> Our lives are usually long, but you got to wait them out. You got to wait on a catfish. I, I can't like come fish an hour. There ain't no, you know, not unless they were on fire. Well, that water's going now, ain't it? Mr. Rogers said it was me jumping back and forth. How's JBT doing, by the way? JBT live. Yeah. Actually, you know. It seems like I can fish. And how long I can fish. So, when I can... I fish. Wednesday nights, I just can't go late. I really need to be done fishing by about 10. And then Friday nights, I'm usually so wiped out that sleeping is a thing that I want to do. He's all set up. He said he's going to stay until 6. He hadn't been fishing long. I mean, is he just now getting going? Okay. Uh-oh, Mr. Rogers said he ain't got no coffee, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do they not have it in his town to where he can, like, door dash it or Uber it? Or do they quit doing that at a certain time? Around here, you can door dash stuff to most places to a pinpoint. No, Troy, I took tomorrow off. Lord, if I was, if I was working tomorrow, I'd have to leave it from here and go straight to work. And they'd frown on it because I have holes in my pants, in my knee of my pants. Wouldn't go over real well. 
I took a vacation day. I had to work Saturday. I worked 58 hours last week. So, yeah. With the eclipse, because I kind of want to see it. I hope it don't cloud up. But, whew, I saw them drops coming right at my eyes. <laughs> Water drops. So, yeah, I took tomorrow off. Took a vacation day. I kind of got to quit. I want a single day my vacation away. I got two weeks left and a, and a little bit, bit more. I kind of want to listen. Did you hear that? Something jumped under there. I want to plan them so that I don't use them up any other time. I'm afraid if I get sick, I'll, I'll have to... Grumpy said, it's strange, the stupider I make the video, the more views I get. It's me just standing there holding a barbie rod. 7,700 views. Yeah. It's crazy. The ones that, that me, me and Travis went through that, you know, the ones we thought, stuff. the ones, well, they want to see weird stuff, but the ones they thought, we thought they wouldn't go for, they would, they'd watch. And then the ones that we were like, oh, yeah, this is a good one. This is a good video. They'll watch it. No. Not so much. And cast net videos do so well. If you fish, do some cat net, cast net videos because they will go. <laughs> and Cast Blast Camp had that one nearly go viral. It doesn't quite meet the standards for going viral. Because you have to have like 5 million views in 24 or 48 hours or something for it to be really be considered viral, but he had millions of views on that video where he was taking the butt out of that deer after he killed it while he's field dressing it. <laughs> Grumpy said eclipse, it will still get dark, yeah. Troy said we took off for the eclipse, but it's an 80% chance of rain here tomorrow. Yeah, it's supposed to do that here too. I mean, there's a chance of rain and cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it's a high chance. And I knew if I went to work, I'd be wanting to dang be outside. I'd be, I'm just weird like that. Hey, OG, do dirty. OG. He said, my weekly twos and do's. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> What you up to? Have you been fishing? I've seen that you went live a couple times. I think I popped in one. You were hanging out and stuff. And I like to watch you fish, but you usually do that during the day and. They've been working us so hard at work. I don't have time much to hop in the lives too much anymore. There for a while it was slow going and I had some time, but they're pushing us. I've seen somebody post today on Facebook on one of the, like, I think it was like East Tennessee catfishing. Mm -hmm. Wanted to know uh, about fishing. They didn't want to go too far from their house. They'd moved here from somewhere else. And they wanted to fish, but they didn't want to go too far from their house where they lived. And uh, 
they said they were used to going like 10 or 15 minutes. I, and everybody was like, not around here, not in East Tennessee. Everything's too spread out. So he was saying he lived near the closest lakes to him were Cove Lake and he lives in Scott County. Cove Lake and Norris. And I was like, mm. You're not, if you're, it depends on what you're fishing for, but you're not going to get any like catfish or anything like that on the, not really. I mean, in Cove Lake, I mean, no, panfish, that's what I said. It was panfish on Cove Lake and no, or yeah, you just weren't going to get. He said, yeah, we uh, we go a little crazy on the panel show. I'll be going fishing this week on Worcester Lake, but it'll be on your ODD TV's page. I wonder if I ever got sub, sub to that. <laughs> you do creek and river fishing. That's cool. Is there a link to that in your uh, description on your Do Dirty page? Because I'll check it out and subscribe to that one. Ring the bell. That mouse popped his head up on it for you. Did he? Yeah. Where at? Right here? Yeah. <laughs> I ran him back. Did you? Yeah. He's down there somewhere. <laughs> Dunder at Rock is sitting on it. It's at the bottom of your OGD dirty page. Okay. I'll go in there and make sure I'm subbed. I'll try to pop in on a break or lunch or something at work if you're live during that time. Is that our last piece of wood, Travis? Well, not me. Yeah, if we don't want to uh, carry, I was going to say, might as well burn it if we don't want to carry it back up there because the light situation. Yeah, that's when we get closer. When we get back to the house, if you will tell me what light will be the best. I mean, uh, batteries will be the best to order. I'll order us some. I want to make sure that it's the right kind, you know. Or we can go by Lowe's. Probably cheaper to order one, though. Uh -oh. <laughs> Martha went and found me that box of work. Now it's blazing. That's one of your short on ODDs to your page. Okay. Troy said, I have a feeling we'll be seeing Cindy after sunrise today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, I would, we would, there's no telling how long we'd fish tonight if we weren't about to run out of life. We should have a charger for the car, you know what? I don't know. It'd probably pull too much energy from the battery. We need an inverter, though. So. Actually, if we brought the charger with us, we could go by the park. So just charge them. 
By the park? Yeah, we got plug-ins over there. We had the charger with it. Oh, really? Yep. Hmm. Just plug the charger in and put them on there. They charge fairly fast. Oh, yeah. At the pavilion. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, there are nights that this thing charges my phone pretty quick. Huh? There are nights, like the other night when we plugged it in, I was back at like 60% before long. Mm -hmm. I'm at 34, 38% since I plugged it in. You're at what? 38. What was it? 14. Hmm. Not charging it quick tonight. Walmart has a lot of battery packs on the cheap. Uh, we've got a, a charger The thing on the side of that battery is not C, is it? What? It's a micro SD. What? The, the, oh no, it's just a regular There's a plug-in on the side of that battery on the light, right? To charge things with. Uh huh. No. Oh no, not that one. Okay. Oh. What kind of what kind of charger thing is it? Battery pack. We've got a battery pack um, that we charge the phone with, but this is a Dewalt battery that powers our light. I don't know if it's a C charger or not. It might be a uh, what you call it? It is a C charger. Now, is it trying to charge the battery, or is it trying to charge? Is the battery trying to charge the pack? Did the lights come on on the battery thing? Yeah. Huh. I got no idea, though. What? I'm in the dark for a second. Here. You, just you have a power station that could keep your phone going? Unlimited thousand watt hours. Really? Right now, we're more concerned with our our DeWalt light thing, our lights that we have shining on the poles. He's working on that right now. But. Mm -hmm. What? So we can use a charger. To power the, power the light. And it's actually really bright. Hmm. Yeah. It is. We might be in business for a little longer, huh? A power station that keep your phone going unlimited. <laughs> That's cool. Did you order it all online? Because that's the problem with a lot of a lot of times is you you lose your lighting or you lose your charge on your phone. <laughs> There's quite a bit more that you have to think about when you fish at night. We have to make sure we're powered. That we have lights. Did that battery just die? Yeah. <laughs> I was worried about it. No, I'm talking the one that I had plugged up. With. Oh, the charging station? No. Oh. So I'm kind of wondering what that. Oh, so it was trying to charge the battery pack, probably. I don't know. Oh, you plugged in one of the old, the old batteries. 
Let's just wait. Is the ch charging port on the side of the battery or the side of the line? The line. Oh, okay. <sighs> now it's not trying to charge the So the little end goes in the light. Oh, no. No. So that battery pack won't, won't charge it. So we will have to hit the dusty trail before we lose our life. Mm. I said, so we will have to hit the dusty trail before we lose that life. Troy said, take a look at the EBL power stations. We power our off-grid campsite with a 12-volt refrigerator using a solar panel for a week for 1,000 watt hours. It is not too bad of a price. EBL power stations. How big are they? Are they, like, portable? Where you'd want to haul them down to the, uh, to the fishing hole? We didn't have to walk too far to get down here, but like maybe the length of a little bit farther than the football field, maybe. About the length of a football field. Not too bad. Nah. Yeah, about the length of a football field. About 100, 150 Three. yards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's more like a fireball. Uh, Turn down, yeah. EBL. Is that what it was, EBM? So, yeah. I know there's not too many people left in here, but well, actually there's 17 watching it. Or we're sleeping. <laughs> but we're going to be going up, go ahead and plan on doing a giveaway soon. And by soon, I mean by maybe this month. Maybe you should have thrown over here in this corner. I don't know. Oh, did you? They had to pay my... Uh, you can carry them at, it e easily. It weighs less than 10 pounds. Okay. You should see that we've got that. It's a dog carrier, but it's one of those backpacks. I have that sucker loaded down. <laughs> we've done more walking to uh, places to fish this year than we have than we did before, you know. Yeah. Try to get to different places. So. I, mean, I mean, we fish a lot of different places. Yeah, we sure have. Yeah, it's just now starting to get chilly. I keep hoping. Did you throw it off? No. Oh, you scared of fish? No. Well, where fish? Huh? Where? Didn't you splash right there? 
Oh, did you throw it right there? Yeah. We went right there. <laughs> did that happen? <laughs> I don't know how it happened. It looked like you threw it hard. Well, the fish were biting a little better here. I don't know. We caught four last night on the boat. <coughs> and had three potentials here tonight. <laughs> caught one and two potentials, that is. I'm starting to bite. It'll only get better, but... Then all the bigger ones will go on spawn. Bigger ones. We're getting there. Train by, train by. One runs the other by. The middle one? And it's just barely picking at it. Yeah. I'm getting up and walking around again. My butt's going to sleep. <laughs> When my butt goes to sleep, my legs don't want to work. Yeah. Hey, at least I ain't belching like I was there the other day when I ate that cheese sauce and it was tasting terrible. <laughs> it was bad, huh? What oh, grumpy thing. As a child, mom always told us we had to be quiet while fishing or we would scare the fish away. <laughs> did she lie to me? Did she fib to me? Well, it depends on what you're I guess, for. yeah. I actually think that probably only pertains to, like, fish that are super skittish anyway, like trout. <laughs> bass or something, maybe. Yeah. The uh, I've had bass swim around right in there and look at me, and me throw stuff in front of them and them not do nothing. Now, they swim right past the bait. Now, when we're skipjack fishing, I'll take the end of the rod and splash it in the water just to attract them. Yeah. Because they think another one's eating and they want to come and see. Yeah, it makes them curious. They 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 frenzy feed, so they like yeah. a little bit of. They like action. I've actually took and slapped the flies against the water two or three times, and that and watch the water when their feet starting to feed real good. The, they just start blowing up. It, it's crazy when they do that. Oh yeah, I've watched them just just have the water. Boiling. As far as the catfish, they're kind of the same way. I mean, if they're feeding, uh, they will follow them skipjack and shad and stuff. So sometimes if they if they hear that splash or something or another, they think something's feeding and they're gonna come and investigate. Now trout or skittish. Sometimes the catfish are I don't know, skittish, I guess. But it, 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 there's a lot of different scenarios, I guess you could say. I think they just wanted the kids to be quiet because so, fishing is peaceful and kids are not. <laughs> that's, that's usually what it is. But little bluegill and stuff like that, you can't scare them. Catfish. 
Yeah, it depends. I mean, not really. I mean, especially if, if they was fishing for like channel cats, the smaller catfish. Why, you can do about anything around them things. As long as you throw something in the water, if they're out there, they're going to bite. Yeah. The big catfish, now they do have a potential to not like a lot of splashing, but as far as talking and stuff, no, yeah. they don't. They don't care nothing about that. You know, a kid can mess up a uh, fishing hole by throwing rocks and stuff in the water. But yeah, it always kills me to be fishing and somebody be two hundred feet up from you, letting their kids throw rocks in the water. My oh, crap! Reel down on that middle rock. Pick it up out of there. Yeah, and just reel down on. Something keeps messing with it, so don't put no pressure on it. But before you do it, I don't want to spit it out. Reel down on it. Nothing. Yeah. Could be water messing with it. I don't know. Could be in a turtle. Too. Reel it in. Won't see. Look at the bait. Is that bobber way out there? Well, okay. good morning, three knights. Hey, Donald. I think it's a turtle. What do you think? Something's been chewing on it. <clears throat> Go ahead and take the bait off that one. We're going to get out here in a minute before we lose a lot. Yeah. And we're down here blind trying to get all this stuff together. That's what I was going to say. That, yeah, three nights is Donald. Hey, Donald, Donald. Donald. Oh. Mm. You want me to go ahead and reel this other one up? Yeah, go ahead. Get that left one up and hook it up. I'll go ahead and put the sinker back on. Man. It's <laughs> loud, ain't it? <laughs> I'm not used to not having a weight on them. I can't believe we couldn't catch a boogie on a worm. Nothing on a worm. Oh, well, nothing. Ever catch I, did get, I did get one little nibble there a couple times, but other than that, there wasn't nothing hitting that worm. Could have caught a channel cat or something on a worm. Yeah, I guess we should uh, pack up our backpack. Yeah, we'll get everything back packed up there. Do this we to run it. What does that bike look like? It's a good. It looks like nothing's really touched it, does it? Oh, how long? They would have ate them goods just ahead of. Oh, that piece hanging down there she would have gotten chewed. It was... <laughs> well, it's better than it was. We work it in skunk regularly. <laughs> it's not great, but it's a small improvement. Did you get the worms up there? Yeah. I was stuck a minute. All right, let me uh set that up. Let me say later days, I guess. 
Shut chat down. I'm not seeing someone no. Yeah. I'm off tomorrow, so. Well, shoot, I just woke up, and now you're live. I guess I'll go to work. Didn't tell you live. <laughs> Turn out to. <laughs> well, shucks. Well, if we had more battery life or something, we might go somewhere else. But... Well, our battery's about going on our lights, so. Wouldn't you have to go to work anyway, Donald? I see Donald and then, well, I did see Donald and hog legs a lot. I guess both men will be live in the morning. I don't know what, what they ever worked out about having uh, something in place of hog legs, but have a nice day, Donald. Don't work too hard. Weren't doing much but watching flagpoles anyway. Good night, Troy. Later, everybody. It's still night for us, Troy said. Oops. I made it small, but I managed to do it not all night. Grumpy said it was a small pond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was talking about it as a kid. All right. 17 people still in here. Wake up and go to sleep, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of here. <laughs> Good night, Cast. Later, Cast. We'll catch you later. We really have. I, I still got your skipjack at the house. We really have got to uh, meet up. Just so I can give you those, if nothing else. All right, Mr. Rogers. I'm leaving her here. He's already up the hill. All right. Good night, y'all. I'm out.